Wait lang, mag-e-echo kasi yung Facebook bulok. Facebook streaming, kailangan panoorin mo yung sarili mong stream. So, lilitaw sa sarili mong stream yung sarili mong audio, pabalik-balik. Let's, uh, man, man will start. Wait. Let's just let it start. Uh, pag, pag naka-scheduled live is weird, eh. It should start on its own. The stream chat. Let's do this, boo ace. That's that's my uh, that's my cool my cool uh, not not so cool. What? live na po. <laughs> With no fanfare. Poka live na po. Hello. Hello. Poka live na po. Kempre mag echo na naman kasi baliw si. Facebook? I don't know. Facebook live streaming, man. When you're when you set up a very professional Facebook live stream, ang pinaka maganda sa p- very professional Facebook live stream is ipe playback niya yung Facebook live stream mo, whether you like it or not, with the audio on, para mag echo yung fa- yung live stream mo for some reason. Utak. Utak, Facebook, ang dami mong utak, no? I-mute mo yung replay. Utak. Mm. What's up? Uh, sino to? Si Ralph at Torge. What's up? Aaron Ocampo, obviously marami na nag-chat kanina. Si uh, Koya Norms. Si Ron Iverson andyan. Si Brian Acabado is here. And Gian Parinas. And Kuya Bench. Alright. Um, ano sabi dito? <laughs> Kuya, may balita ka ba sa bagong Kokak Mobile? Of course! Meron akong Kokak Mobile. Paano nilagay yan? Uh, yan, ito, ito. Same thing lang din naman eh. Ha? Ano, uh, same thing. Wala, ay, wala pala akong S8. So, yung lahat tayong same thing. Sorry. Dito tayo sikat. Wala tayong S8. Wala tayong same thing lang naman. Same thing lang naman eh. Uh, Nakaabot din sa live. Huwag na yung cherry bulok naman. Why seriously? Ano, ano bang bag? <laughs> meron bang meron bang maganda sa cherry ngayon? What? Buhay pa, buhay pa yung brand na yun? Ano nila? Ups ko. Maya. Next time, magkalalagay na ako ng alak sa, sa inumin ko. Mmm. Oh. Wow. This is Dalandan. I don't know. Oh, it's a gadget addict. Quack, quack. And all that. Um, what are we talking about? Daming uta kasi kasing dami ng petals ng thankful flower. Quack, mobile, same thing. Uh, magandang gabi, everybody. Good evening to the everyone. Si Kuya Jam may S8. Daig, daig, ha, ha, de joke lang. Well, well, right. That's how he wants to live his life. Me, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, S8, fine. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. It's priorities, my bros. I could have bought an S8, but instead I bought a graphics card. I'm much happier with my graphics card because I use that more often and I have like so many pare wala pare hindi mo kailangan ng S8 pare same thing lang din naman yan eh <laughs> uh, what is up sa inyo mga kokak so ayun po ano <laughs> si Robert Levan so ayun po ano Jin tapos dalandan wow si Bench lasinggero tonggera wow Wow. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know how to Honestly, medyo kekek sabi ni. <laughs> Yan yung bagong coca. Kekek. Sabi ni GM Perinas. Uh, I don't know how to start the show. I wanted the more I didn't I didn't know I I'm, I wanted a laid back show cuz so far making an effort to put up uh Matinding content is uh, very 
very stressful, especially when you get some pretty crazy comments some, some, sometimes. Uh, so welcome to the show, everybody. Farmer Sanchez, what's up? Uh, hey, okay. Okay, so let's say, ito na lang. let's say I have an S8. Would that, would that make my life complete? No, not really, because there's going to be an S9 yet next year. And then your phone would be one year old, right? It's a rat race. Nobody fucking wins, right? Wala namang payabangan dyan. It's, it's not about who has the better phone. It's a tool. And if you're too, if you can buy a better, if you can buy decent tools without buying the most expensive one, then go ahead, right? Uh, sa ano meron? Wait lang, dami comments. What lang? What's going to happen? Ah, the singer is bench. Ko yung gawa ka ng bago CGI logo. What? CGI? Just, just me, yo. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ako magaling sa ganyan. Nakita. Nakita niyo yung ano ko? Oh, it's, it's me, yo. I can't do that shit. My God, look at me. I don't have Photoshop. Wait, that's a new one. And desktop. There we go. Wow. I got nothing to see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't have Photoshop here. Look at this. No Photoshop, right? I don't do that shit. I don't do photo editing. And CGI and stuff like, which I yeah, fuck that shit. Let's, yeah, well, yeah. oh yeah, 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 let's try the new 3D. You know, what's this? An embargo? 3D. Uh oh, what paint? What paint 3D? Okay, it's a different name, different name, totally different. What are the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the fuck do you use this? Holy shit, that's. Whoa, holy. You meant... This thing has t fucking textures and shit. What? Okay, crayon. Okay, boring, boring lang. What? Crayon ba yan? Hindi naman mukhang crayon yung... Mechanical pencil. Black, boring. Ito lang yung... Ito yung pinakagpogi, oh. Oh, shit. We can do a mic... Uh, not mic Ross. Bob Ross. We're just gonna draw a happy little tree right here. A happy little tree. Yes. Alright. Now we're gonna draw some uh Mirage uh, orange sky right there. Yes. We're just gonna do this happy little Bob I'm Fab Bob fucking Ross. There's my new logo, CGI logo. Bam! Done. Oh wait, let's just let's add I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta erase this. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, yeah, uh, oh no. Need some. Let's do that. Okay, okay. And then erase. Okay, oh, I'm. Yes. It's mm. 3D in the thing. 3D, okay, okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have a new logo. All right. <laughs> Lol. What's the? What does this do? All right. Uh, okay. Wow! Oh my god! Fucking Bob Ross can't do this shit, huh? What's going on, everybody? No one on time viewers for some reason. <laughs> Alright, uh, what's going on? Let's see. Uh, who's talking here? Uh. It's a S8 na pepeke daw iris scanner. Whatever. Every a lot of kahit, kahit naman yung face recognition na pepeke. Uh so Justin says Vivo 
and wow. Kuya Alex, may review unit ka ng Chewy. Meron akong juicy fruit. Pwede na yun. Chewy yun eh. <sighs> Kuya, not worth it. S8, nag-depreciate -de -de ang phone. Ba ano, ano ba? Ano, anong telepono hindi nag-depreciate? Obviously, kailangan mo pa rin ng telepono. Right? Vivo, maganda ba? What's up, Moxie Hisogan? Man, that's... Hisogan? That sounds like a Hisoka. Right? That sounds like Hunter Hunter. Uh, I love DJ. By the way, guys, merong lamok dito sa kwarto ko and I'm really, really, really pissed off about that. I hate, I hate mosquitoes in my room. Sobrang gusto ko siyang durugin tirisin. Gusto ko siyang tirayin ng hundred, isang daan, dalawang, isang, isang libot, dalawang, lib, dalawang daang porsyento ng aking lakas. Uh, kuya, magsistream ka pala sa Asus bukas. Ano ba meron sa bukas? Meron, meron sa ano, Computex nila? Kailan ba yung Asus? Alright. Trusted reviews. This is 2017, right? 2017. Okay. NVIDIA. Oh, NVIDIA. Nice. Medyo horny. AMD. Hmm. Hmm. Ano schedule? Yeah, papag-aralan ko yan. Matututo tayo. Malalaman natin yan. Bakit? Ano nangyari sa aking Microsoft website? Ito sinira ang aking website. Surface. Come on. There we go. Alright. Uh, 3D Builder. Uh, DJ Spark. Kuya, gawa ka ng kokak. Next time na ako bibili ng DJ Spark. Big time painting show. Uh... Ilabasan yung mushroom. <laughs> Medyo off topic lang. Uh, balita ko, nagsarara daw karamihan ng service center ng Oplus. Yung sa West Ham. Well, uh, I don't know. Hindi, wala akong balita sa Oplus. Yung op obviously, yung Oplus is a little... Parang hindi masyadong sikat ngayon. So, maybe bumabawi, right? Uh, meron? Uh, ko dapat... Kasi Kuya Alexi may raketa ka. Ano yung raketa? Ha? Huh? Monday pala. Niloloko mo naman ako Kuya Norms eh. Pinik mo ako fake. Wala ngayon. Next week pa. Next week pa. <coughs> Brian Acabado says, Traob si XC Premium sa S8 Plus sa speed test Kuya. Speed test nang Download? <laughs> Kaya hindi, hindi naman gano'n ka-importante yan Pero yes, okay, medyo Kung sa, kung sa speed test, sure Kung, kung importante sa yun, fine Pero uh, iba yung, iba yung uh, Ako, I, I respect Sony for, for what they're doing with the With the XC Premium And um, I wouldn't necessarily say It's gonna compete straight at Samsung and LG um, But I think what they're doing Is, you know, it, it go, it's an eh Anyan, uh, nakakataba ng puso ko, I guess, is what I want to say. Uh, alam nyo naman, mahilig ako sa 4K, mahilig ako sa HDR. That's, that's like, pag tinignan, nakatato sa puso ko yun, pag tinignan mo, pag inoperahan mo ako, nakatato sa loob yun. 4K HDR, yun doon sa ano. Um, hindi ko alam kung kailangan mag-English eh, kung, <laughs> I wonder kung may international reviewers tayo ngayon. Uh, should I change it to English? Uh, let's see. Uh, Spark iPhone na. Uh, wala na si Oplus sa amin. Pinalitan na ng... Torques? Tork? Rakting pang patay ng lamok, kuya. Ano? Rakting... Ah, yun yung brand. Yung mga binibend. Hindi naman umaandar... Hindi naman umuubra yun. By the way, save natin si Paint 3D. Importante yung bagay yan eh. Wait lang, kailangan nating ano. Kailangan ba nating artistihan, artistihan to? Kailangan ba nating gandahan ng konti? Lagyan ng shadow, shadow sa side. Yan, kanyan siya, oh. Tapos may shadow. May shadow dito. Yan, oh. 
Oh my god. Oh, geek. Alright. Nah. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> um. One four four warriors nasan kayo. Wow. One four four warriors. Fourteen. Fourteen forty p. The fourteen one four four p is one tenth of fourteen forty p. So kung pinanood mo yung video ko at one four four p ten times, fourteen forty p warrior kana. <laughs> I learned this this technique I learned in art school. I'm very I'm very artistic, okay? Hmm? There you go. I'm age Look at that. Look at that. Hmm? There we go. Yes. <laughs> That's so fucking abstract artistic. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh Wow, Gravy CGI, Pang Hollywood. Yeah, I know. Uh, si Weta. I don't know if you know who uh, Weta is. Weta is Peter Jackson, the guy who made... Um, well, basically, they're the biggest uh, CGI developer in the world. That's They want to hire me, but I said, you know, I got My artistic skills are not for sale. And that's what I told them. How, do, how, does, how does the 3D work? Can we do the 3D? Oh my god, is this it? No, that's not it. What the heck? How do we make... How do we move it around in 3D? Can we like... What? No. Two D shapes. Okay. Okay, how do we... How do we use it? Huh? What the... What's going on? I don't understand. Uh, well, well, they clearly did not consult me when developing this shoddy piece of software. My artistic genius. Yes, artistic genius. Save. There we go. Save in Paint 3D. Boom. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this. Uh, Lilitaw ako sa katabi ni Ben Cab. Uh, in the uh, I'm gonna say Ayala Museum probably. Uh, this I'll put this up there. You know, I'll st I'll set the bidding to like you know 1.2 million. Let's let's make it low. Perfect. <laughs> I'll print it. I'll print it with 200 DPI. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that's high quality shit 200 dpi oh my god what's going on people and then a slow-mo video 90 fps you mean 960 fps well alex but you know awards natin so nagaling sa billboard music awards i can't show you that it's uh actually nakai kuya mix yun <clears throat> Farmers Alex, uh, Farmer Sanchez, Alex, tanong ko lang, naalala ko last time, parang marami kang mga binibentang phone sa mga collection mo. Uh, nasama ba dun yung 1020? No, I'm not selling the 1020. Sorry, bro. That's, uh, that's mine. That's mine. That's my... That's my... Ano ba? How do we call it? That's, uh, that's part of my Nokia collection na lang din eh. Totoo, sang, totoo lang. Um, I, be, I, I was a big Nokia fan. And uh, I was I had high hopes for Nokia. Uh, it's too bad they had to you know w take the Microsoft OS and shit their bed, shit the bed all over. Shit, the it's literally they shit the bed. Ah, uh, kaya Lucas film yun talaga leader sa paggawa ng CGI. Well, I will say I, I'm a, I'm a fan of Wait Weta. Uh, I I guess tama kayo CGI is so Marvel, Disney, Paramount, Universal. What are the okay 2017 business? Okay, so welcome to the show. Uh, you know me. Uh, my name is Alex, and this is the Big Time Show. It is uh, Saturday. You want you want my webcam to go lower? 
It is Saturday, January, February, March, if May 27, 2017, and this is the Big Time Show. The Big Time Show is a live a cockack discussion about stuff, phones, gadgets, computers, uh, fidget spinners. <laughs> Pass kamay. Okay, all right. Well, raise your hand if you have a fucking fidget spinner. Right? Who the fuck plays with a fidget spinner in this in the stream, huh? Huh? Who? Who? God damn. That is the newest. That is the biggest that's, the, that's the, the the biggest way to earn mad money in YouTube right now, fidget spinner. Fidget spinner. <clears throat> Look at this shit. Look at this shit. 2 weeks ago, Two weeks ago, he earned 2.8 million views for a video about fidget, fidget spinner tricks for beginners. Okay, <coughs> let's call that let's call that not luck. Let's call that uh, actual fidget spinner skill. All right? Look at this bullshit. Ultimate fidget spinner freakout. What the fuck is a fidget spinner freakout? I don't know. I'll just freak out. It doesn't matter. Give me a fidget spinner. I'll freak the fuck out for seven, for six point five million views. I'll freak the fuck out. <laughs> Who the fuck? Jesus Christ! Look at these. I bet. I bet. I bet big brands are sponsoring this shit because all of these are big YouTubers, right? And all you gotta do. All you gotta do, you know, give them some money, promote your spinner completely. I mean, doesn't really matter. I mean, what really, right? Just, just give them. Hey, here's a thousand dollars. Promote our fidget spinners, right? Finished. Earn seven million views. Well, let's. I wanna, I wanna see a small YouTuber. Look at this. Look at this bullshit. Search volume a hundred. Hundred. That means even your mom is searching for fidget spinner. Look at that, right? right. Let's type Cherry Mobile. Nobody cares. Nobody doesn't even show up. Nobody cares about Cherry Mobile, right? Oh, oh, okay. Cherry Mobile says eighty-six. Which wow, people are searching. Apparently, people give a shit about that stupid brand. Uh, somebody, dirt biker. What's up, dirt biker? Okay, what's up, Kumakoya? What, what else you want to find out? Alright, let's, uh... Magkano ba yung pinakamurang uring na fidget I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Fidget spinners or fidget spinners? Uh, yung kay Dan TM hindi sponsored. Mushroom spinner na lang sa'yo. Kaya he's got... Is that a game or some shit? No, don't, 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 don't check out what a fidget spinner is. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, welcome to the show. Uh, the show is about gadgets and fidget spinners. This is the number one show where we talk about all the new gadget uh, fidget spinners. Twenty four seven. This is a twenty four seven fidget spinner. Stream. All we got, or we'll do in this fidget in the stream is just doing this and then freaking out every two seconds. Every every five minutes, we're freaking out. For the during a fidget spinner, fidget thing, thing, spinning, thing, right? My fidget spinner, right? I take, I take the wheels off a car, I put it in my hand, and I spin it. Cause we're hardcore. <laughs> Sorry. That was a tangent. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, not, uh, I don't know if I want to say there are no local news. There's a, there are kind of local news today. If you live in the Philippines and want to learn more about the new fucking, fucking Firefly Mobile shit. We can talk about that. Firefly Mobile. I, I heard they have something new. I don't, I don't really know. I don't, I, 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 I don't check anymore because Firefly Mobile just... 
phones from Firefly Mobile come out of their ass like fidget spinners these days. So it doesn't really matter anymore. This is, oh, is it? Is it? Is it 3 p.m. already? There's probably a new Firefly Mobile, right? Oh, look. It's raining. It, there's probably a new Firefly Mobile. The dog is barking. There's probably a new Firefly Mobile today. It's just, it just comes out of their ass like diarrhea. <sighs> okay, let's see. Uh, seriously, okay, okay. Which one is new? Which one is new? May 25. That's a couple of days ago. Alright. So it looks like the new phone is uh, Firefly Mobile Suite Plus. Okay, yeah. Uh, Firefly Mobile Suite Plus. Okay, it seems like... Oh, what's this? Dream 1? What? Wait, what? Wait, is this old or new? I can't tell anymore. Nobody gives a shit anymore. Your phones come out of your ass like fucking diarrhea. Is Dream 1 a new phone? All right, maybe it's a new phone. I'm I am 5 million percent sure that Intense Metal 2 and Auri Secret X are old. So we're not going to cover that. Holy fucking hell, they have 3 million people who like their page. Jesus fuck. Does anybody raise your just Okay. Everybody in chat type 1 if you give a shit about Firefly mobile phones. And type 2, if you want to talk about fidget spinners. Type 1, if you give a shit about Firefly mobile phones. 2, if you give a shit about fire, uh, fidget spinners. Sorry, I'm going to calm down a little bit. Ugh. Okay. Oh, they're teasing it on May 23. So, bago nga to. Kudos sa Cherry Mobile kasi hindi MT6753. Everybody seems... <laughs> everybody loves that fidget, them, that fidget spinner. What's up, Chincharu? Super Piccolo. Damn, that's a nice name, dude. Super Piccolo. Let's watch this one video. Auri Dream 1. Robert Lieban says 3. <laughs> Robert Lieban is a rebel. Oh my god, that is fucking loud. This is... Okay, wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. We have something to enjoy now. This is... Wait, let's keep playing. I like this one. I like that one. That's good. Oh, 
As usual, as usual it looks like a normal... It looks like a normal uh, Firefly phone. The same shape and size. I like that they're making, uh, they're changing up their kind of content, so their their style when it comes to making a video. This is more sort of hip now. A little bit faster than before. This is more iPod Shuffle than Apple, you know, iPhone type of. Uh, advertising iPod shuffle is always you know fast and, and iPod like <sighs> Firefly my balls Firefly my balls What's up Webster 02 I saw your uh, comment hindi lang ako hindi ko lang nabasa agad kasi I was I was too busy you know listening to a girl Uh so what the hell is up with this phone All right Nougat quad core processor doesn't even say doesn't even give you the fucking doesn't give you the respect that you need to even doesn't give you that you know respect to tell you what the fuck the processor is. Eight megapixel camera with five megapixel with front LED flash, five inch LCD doesn't even give you the fucking respect to tell you what the fuck the resolution of this fucking phone is. One gigram. 2100 milliamp hour battery, 3G only, 3G only for 2699. That's it. We got nothing else. What the fu How the fuck do you comment on this thing? You don't even know the fucking processor and the resolution of the display. Well, people buy this shit? Ah! Sir, bilin yun to. Maganda tong phone na to. Ano yung specs? Putang ina, bakit mo tinatanong? Wala naman naghahalap ng specs. Nobody gives a shit. Who cares about specs? Tignan nyo sa'yo. Quad core yan, quad core. Quad core yan. Maniwala ka sa akin. Anong process? Quad core! Ano pa kailangan mo malaman? Huh? Oh God. Matitriggers na naman ako nito. <sighs> ano? Sir, uh, sir, maganda ba yung uh, Firefly Mobile Dream 1? Who the fuck knows? I don't know the fucking processor. Maganda pala. Bro, maganda. Bilhin mo na. Fuck me. Alright, may isa pang telepono. Okay. Just one more day to go for another totally sweet mobile experience. That's what? three, Two phones in a week? Don't even fucking know the processor of the other one, and then we have this new one. Okay, let's 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 do it. It's fine, fine. Dowry Dream One, yours. Wait, Dream One, ulit to. Wait, ano ba yung bago? We're waiting. We're looking for. Wait, Dream One na yung pinulod natin, right? Yeah, Dream One. Yeah, na nabasa na natin yun. What's the newer one? Sweet Plus. Okay, the new one is Sweet Plus. Where's the video? All right, this one is the pictures of the Sweet Plus. Let me guess, it's a quad core processor with a 5 inch LCD display or some shit. Meron bang video tong si Sweet Plus? Oh my god! What? Magsara na kayo, wala ba kayong video na Sweet Plus? Oh my god! Oh my god! Magsa I think Firefly Mobile is going bankrupt! Wala silang video na Sweet Plus! Impossible! Impossible! Walang video si Sweet Plus! Oh no! Paano ko na malalaman? Na Firefly, my balls! No god, quad core process. Is this? Oh, this is the dream one. Sorry, 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 sorry! Oh, I, I, I like that. Wait, wait, wait. Asa niyan? Do you know this line from Overwatch? I, maybe you don't, but it's a very cute line. Sorry, uh, me. Uh, yes, 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 yes. This one. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. Sorry. Listen. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. And then, this is what you do. This is what you do, okay? I'm gonna pause the... I I'm probably gonna get copyrighted to shit, but this is what you do, okay? I I'm gonna teach you some YouTube techniques, alright? Because the voice is really nice. Uh, it 
right click the video right right click oh not, not so bus right click dito. you click loop loop and then replay sorry sorry i'm sorry 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 i'm sorry 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 i'm sorry sorry and then sorry your sorry, life becomes sorry, better sorry Sorry, First, because sorry, there's a cute. Sorry, oh my God! Sorry. Page unresponded. What, sorry, what? sorry, I'm sorry. I have a page. What, what is sorry, this? Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, my live stream sorry, is page unresponsive. Really? Sorry. Wait. Sorry, I'm okay. sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. You just leave sorry. it like that. Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Get the fuck away from me, Lamok. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, right. I'm right. sorry, sorry. That's that's when you want to say sorry. Is it too late now to say sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry? All right, uh, which one? Well, I'm video. Pagsasaro na talaga to. Page unresponsive. See ya, no? Ah, page unresponsive. <laughs> Hopefully, your Facebook stream is still okay. But if you page ko where which is watching back, the stream for Facebook is broken. So hopefully, it doesn't break the actual stream. Uh, what's the specs on this guy? Okay, here's the specs, right? Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Marshmallow, quad core. What the? F <laughs> Gonna, we're just gonna. Ito na lang gagawin na. We're ka, ta, ta gagawa no, no. We're gonna make the specs for <laughs> Firefly. What's the fuck? What the fuck is this name? Firefly. This is why I don't fucking want to talk about this fucking shit. Sweet Firefly Mobile Sweet Plus. Okay. Ito yung specs. Spec sheet. Okay. We need that in bigger, bigger, uh, bigger font, bros. Because we we gonna need. What new font? Where's the font size? Er, uh, there we go. All right, make it big, big fonts, big fonts. Okay. Pros uh, has a processor, has a screen. Has cameras, has battery, and also 3G. Yeah. Boom! That's the specs. Amazing. I'm gonna buy this phone right now. Look at that. It has a processor. It has a screen. May camera siya. Tsaka may bateria. Ano pang hanap mo? Ah? What are you? It's 3G! You don't need to think anymore. It's autumn. It's you insta buy. Insta buy. I'm I'm going out right now that the sh the show is done. Pupunta ako sa mall ngayon pag bubukasin ko sila ng 30 p.m. Bibili ako ng Firefly Mobile Suite Plus because ang ganda ng specs eh. Ha? Huh? Hey. Okay, wait lang, wait lang. Kailangan nating uh what Kailangan natin ano eh. Asa, kailangan natin ilabas yung 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 katuturan nitong specs na to eh. Asa, I I don't know how to make it work, but we're gonna do this. Okay, open. Yes. Yan. Ito. Yan. Yan, 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 yan. There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yan. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. This is it. This is the Firefly Mobile Suite Plus. Alright? Yes. There we go. There we go. Okay? I'm not even gonna fucking read the specs right now. You can fucking read the specs by going to the fucking Firefly Mobile page if you want. Okay? It doesn't even say what megapixels the camera is. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that fucking thing is a work of art. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I really made that really nice. It's a really nice work of art, dude. Oh shit, I got it. Fuck no, Control Z. Okay. Alright. Look at that specs! 4 inch clear text screen, dual camera with front lid flush. Oh god. Alright, I'm done. No more. No more Firefly. No more Firefly fucking mobile. No more. No more Firefly fucking mobile, okay? No more. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Wala naman, wala naman questions dito, just reactions. Uh, spin that uh, Next topic, triggered, dual core, high blood naman si Kuya. Uh, 6580. What's up, Darko? Republic of the Serpska. What's that? Dual core? It says dual core? I thought it was quad core. I'm sorry. It says quad core right there. But who who am I to who am I to know? Right? Who am I to say what the fuck the specs on this thing is? It comes with the free hard case though. And it looks like this. Yeah, it looks like this. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh <clears throat> Alright, let's move on. It's <laughs> I admit it's not gonna be as in the other the other things are not gonna be as interesting, but oh do you wanna see my setup? Um I know I don't normally wanna show my setup some uh other viewers because you know sometimes they don't they're, they're like oh my god and damn it ah, i want please please give me please give me so i want to show you my setup just in, just just for now you know sometimes sometimes here is my I, I, the the tv has been covered because i was cleaning and the dust was you know uh billowing up so i was sweeping and the dust was billowing up so i covered my tv up that's, that's the Sony 4K HDR TV right there. Also, as you can see, you can see my cabinet and stuff like that. That's my current setup. <coughs> I mean, it doesn't look much, but it's it's it needs it needs a gaming chair. But I'm not gonna buy a gaming chair yet. That's not. Um, I have I have I've set myself a little bit of uh, goal. I need to have a. Me, I have a personal goal that I want to reach first before I reward myself with a gaming chair. So that's what I need to do. I need to hit that personal goal first before I buy that gaming chair. Yeah, HyperX Legend Box. I still haven't done that video. I was sick this week. Um, thankfully, I got in better. Uh, I had some a nasty stomachache this week. Uh, that's why. That's why, if you noticed, we we have no current video, uh, new videos recently. Between last BTS and today's BTS, uh, but I'm better now. Uh, the doctor said it was just stomach pain. I mean, muscle pains on the stomach. Um, and thankfully, it's uh, it's not appendicitis. I thought it was appendicitis. Um, drama time. All right, let's talk about our topics for today. We have three topics for today, at least the main ones. Um, we have the DJI Spark, uh, a new, the most of kind of the most affordable drone. Or maybe it's not the most affordable drone, but one of the best micro and very good quality video drones from DJI. Which is, if you're not familiar with DJI, DJI is like DJI is like the number mega one drone manufacturer for video. Um, of course, there would be more like for for consumers at least, right? So DJI Spark is their newest one, and it's like tiny. It's Probably around the, the size of a magazine or smaller. Surface Pro now? You want the Surface Pro topic? Wait, that, that, uh, let's let's go through our topics for today. The DJI Spark, that's one uh, that's one topic. Hey, Koya, Gian, what's up? And then we have the Xperia XZ Premium, which launched in the Philippines this week. 
I love that phone. I don't necessarily say that everybody this has to buy it. It's uh, it's a personal kind of uh, preference for me because uh, I have preferences when it comes to 4K, HDR. I do love 4K. Even even for myself, I'm a big 4K advocate. I don't know if it's worth, but, you know, whatever floats your boat. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. And then lastly, one of our last topics is the new Surface Pro. Which fucking is annoying me because it's only called the Surface Pro. Yeah, lang kaya sila gagawa ng drone at 15k lang. Siguro in a couple of years. I mean, there are drones that cost 15k already, but they're not as good as a DJI. You know, profit kind of uh, pro pro. Oh, page unresponsive again. What the hell? Wait. So that means it's responding sometimes. Here's the unresponsive page. Eh? Oh, it's definitely not responding. Look at that. It doesn't even resize. How should we do this? Can we close this? See, it's stuck on my mass, my amazing, amazing, uh, amazing drawing. Did they? Did did Facebook kill my live stream? Is that what's going on? Did Facebook see that? amazing artwork and said oh we can't show that on facebook is that what go what's going on no it's still it's still going there you go did facebook see that amazing art all right it's still going i just i can close this apparently probably probably there we go all right good uh kailan kaya sila ga okay clint manang kill says hello po hello sayo sir clint manang kill Manang kill. Okay. Norms as possible na ang 4K soon since may 8K na darating. Ah, uh, yeah. But, you know, uh, the adjustment period between 1080p and 4K is gonna be more painful uh, for now. For now. Um, the reason why, why adjust me, adjusting between uh, 1080p to 4K is gonna be painful is uh, our infrastructure is still not... Uh, there yet for a lot of things like 4k streaming is not there yet, yet there uh, our internet connection might not be as good yet for 4k streaming and uh, i think the biggest advocate for uh not yet moving on to 4k is games uh games have a hard time rendering 4k so well obviously um a lot of people upgraded to hd tvs including me because they wanted to play hd games uh, they bought an Xbox 360. Maybe they were bored, and maybe they wanted to upgrade their, you know, TVs eventually. Like maybe they, like the, let's say, let's say you had a PS3, second year of your PS3. I was like, uh, I want to buy that new TV because I could get better, you know, uh, display. And 1080p was a good standard. Uh, so we'll we'll have a harder time moving on to 4K, but it'll, it's gonna come eventually. Everybody's just gonna be like, oh, yep, 4K. Everybody has 4K now. Once we have, basically, a, a good way to to find out if 4K is gonna be standard is if everybody is buying the 4K games console. Once everybody, that's the standard console you buy. It doesn't have like Super Pro Edition for the 4K edition. No, just the base console is 4K. That's when you know. When, when a base gaming console has 4K video uh, uh, video out and game capabilities natively, then that's when we are, you know, we're the infrastructure is there and the technology is there for us to be ready to, to normalize, to, to have a standard 4K in every home. Whatever. Um, so, Let's. Uh, uh, our three topics for today include the Surface Laptop, the new. But what? Why are we talking about? Why, why is the Surface Laptop here? Sorry, Surface Pro. A Surface Pro, which, which really annoys me because they just called it the Surface Pro, and I just made a video about the Surface Pro One, not the Surface Pro, the new one. I made the video about the Surface Pro, the orig, the OG, the the original gangster Surface Pro. A week a week or so ago, and I I understand it's 
even though it's, it, it doesn't have that many views because obviously fuck <laughs> nobody wants to know about some old shit like this but um i hate the naming convention i hate the new surface pro surface Pro. long let's just call it the surface pro just call it the surface pro for refresh right surface pro for refresh that's that's not the worst name you can ever think of um so let's uh, who wants okay all right no, no, no. like previous like previous uh uh streams or, or bts's i forgot to ask you which topic you want to talk about and I'll, I'll limp i'll even just maybe not talk about the third one if you're not interested so if you type one we're gonna talk about the dj spark it's type two Xperia XD Premium and type number three on chat. We're gonna talk about the new Surface Pro. Uh, also, may bumili na Surface Pro ko number the Surface Pro one. Hindi ko pa na ship. I'm very sorry, um, but I'll ship that as soon as possible. Most likely next week. Like I said, I was sick. Um, so I don't know. Who... Confusing. Say my name. Uh, what what topic do you want? What topic do you want? Um, I could go any either any anywhere any one of these and honestly i could even you know elaborate a little bit on the surface pro 4. i have a surface pro 4 it's right there uh in in part as in my uh in, in my immediate vicinity um i if you don't have any opinions i'll start with the dji spark DJI is Spark. So this is the new drone from DJI. It's going to cost $500. You can actually check in the store. And I don't... When When is this going to be available? Uh, let's see. Oh, it has a propeller guard. That's nice. Nice. Ooh, the controller is $149. Holy fuck. But the controller will facilitate... The controller will facilitate much, much farther drone flight because your 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 phone obviously only has wi-fi and and bluetooth there's only two things that your phone has so currently you can only control the spark with your with your phone because the controller is not available yet but the controller has uh dji's proprietary i want to say omni something omni whatever connection uh to let it fly kilometers away from you without losing connection um but your phone cannot let you your phone will not let you fly the spark a kilometers away from you your wi-fi does not last that far okay so the dji spark this is the newest drone from dji and it's actually 500 dollars. it's actually very interesting um oh okay they have their own video player yes 1080p please and wait whoa it buffered Doo -doo -doo. wow that no web player. Their their video player sucks. Or their website sucks. Go to YouTube. And DJI. So this is well, if you thought if you Indy Pahonics has subscribed to DJI, what the hell? If you thought uh What is this? If you thought the Mavic Pro was Wow, which one is the most important one? This one, probably. What's up, UKPH? And welcome to the stream. Um, this is the actual consumer drone. This is the one for yuppies and 20-somethings. And the DJI Mavic Pro is more for kind of, you know, uh, ent entry-level photographers and entry-level... This DJI Spark is actually made for selfies and, and stuff like that. I'll uh, lower the music. Meet Spark. Small, colorful, smart. A powerful flying camera that you can take anywhere. It's so clever, it activates by recognizing you. Just launch it from the palm of your hand. They, they actually they actually use some actual video quality even stuff. Returns when you call it. Oh, and this girl is like so this. nice though. Easy. Call Look at that side boob. Look at her side boob, man. That's some 
It even Look at that. Oh, look at that side boob. Look at that armpit. <laughs> turns when you call it and land like this. Easy. Can't get everyone in the shot? No problem. Watch as it hovers precisely in place, always at your command. Control it with your hands, remote controller, mobile device, or DJI goggles. Using GPS, Spark knows where it is, even if you don't. It'll even sense obstacles to avoid things in front of it and so come home safely. If it says right there, it's optical obstacle sensing. So even with the five hundred dollar DJI Spark, uh, it can. It also has the the amazing DJI technology of uh, obstacle avoidance, which is number one. The number one thing you need when you have a drone, because you will. You will wreck your drone if you don't know how to fly it. Seriously, I've gone through two, three, three cheap drones already. <laughs> three, three Wait. toy drones. Think you got smooth moves? Sparks footage is smoother. It takes the shake out of your shot, so you look like a pro. This is really nice. This application is really nice. Um, I just wanted to clear, make sure. Okay. The, the Mavic Pro and other drones that are more professional have a three-axis gimbal. Uh, this guy, this guy does only two-axis gimbal, but that's not important anyway. Um, so if you're, how do I, how do I show this? Uh, how do I, let's, okay, okay, all right, all right, here's, here's. No, it's not easy to show. So anyway, here's the camera. Well, one axis is up and down, right? The other axis is like this, right? Yaw or whatever this is. Pitch and roll or something. So one axis, two axes. That's the stabilization that the DJI um, Spark can do. It cannot stabilize left and right motion like this, okay? So wherever the drone is facing, that's the only shot it can do. It cannot like fly this way, face forward this way, and shoot like that, right? It can't fly like this and shoot sideways. That's the only thing it can't do with the the gimbal that it has, the two, two axis gimbal. That means all of the shots must mean it faces towards you, right? It cannot face behind it. It cannot face to the left or to the right. It always faces forward. That's it, that's it. And, and honestly, I think that's fine, right? For most people, I think that, you know, that shot is fine. If you're a more professional videographer, you do need that sort of panning shots, the uh, the scrolling shots, which is not capable. Unless you want to actually move the drone physically left, uh, I mean, turn it left, right. Which I don't know if actually anything, if, if that actually is a bad thing or a good thing. Not feeling the control sticks? Perform preset flight maneuvers with a single click and get those... You, you can see their target market right here. Uh, a lot of uh, adventurous kids or adventurous 20-somethings, uh, graduating kids and stuff like that. So they're definitely targeting the uh, the millennial demographic, the people who don't video for a living uh, or, you know, YouTube for a living. This is actually like the very, con the very definition of consumer ease of use drone. Hey, what's up, Raj Galar Gahar? Shots. Here's a way to stand out from the crowd. Spark automatically adds shallow depth of field to your photos. If you don't know how to fly, just tap fly. Let's see if you can handle sport mode. I don't care about sport mode. Spark keeps you in the frame, so all you need to do is act naturally. This is very nice though. Edit your epic videos and share them instantly. So DJI Spark is five hundred dollars, four hundred ninety-nine, and sixteen minutes of flight time. Pretty good, pretty good. Very impressive, very impressive. Um, you know, for the price of a brand new smartphone, DJI Spark is is very good. I think I'm, you know, if I have a little bit of money, I'll buy it. I'll I'll, I'll invest in it. 
if it's that easy and if it's that affordable, I doubt it's going to be 25,000 pesos in the Philippines, unfortunately. I just... Oh, man. Two kilometers its range. HD Wi-Fi video transmission. Two kilometer range. 16 minutes flight time. Obstacle avoidance. Oh, man. That is very, very awesome. Whew. Well, that's a DJI Spark. Let's read some comments here before we move on. Uh, so, I, what's your next? Uh, what's the next topic that you want? Xperia or the Surface Pro? Uh, XC Premium says Brian Acabado. Ganda sana kaso ang mahal. Uh, okay sana pero may Mavic Pro na kasi sa office. Wow. Ah, damn. The norms medyo matindi ang uh, ano ah. Uh, pa pairam naman kami ko. <laughs> uh, Raj says, "What live software do you use?" I use OBS. It's right here. I can show you. It's not. It's no big secret. It's right here. That's my uh, streaming software right there. It's right there. See? Wee. Okay. I put it back before it breaks. Nami and me license pa yata kinukuha para pwede. You know what? You di mo di ko be alam di ba alam ko bawat paliparin sa iba lugar ang drone. Yes, especially in more stricter countries. In the Philippines, I don't think I don't think we have to worry about uh, drone licenses drone licenses just yet. Uh, that means in price ng DJI Spark katumbas na sa bentahan ng DJI Three. Yes. Um, so the DJI Phantom Three standard. It's about twenty-two thousand pesos right now, and I'm really, I really wanted the Surface, uh, the, <laughs> the, 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 the Phantom Three standard. But uh, instead of that, I could just buy the Spark, and that would be much awesome, much more awesome. You want to talk about the Surface? Let's talk about the Surface. All right, let's do that, and let's move this over there. All right, the Surface Pro, the new one, the new Surface Pro, not the old Surface Pro, which I still have right there. The new, new Surface Pro from Microsoft. Lang ako paglalagay ng drink ko. Where do I put this? Floor. Okay. The new Surface Pro is a minor upgrade to the old to the Surface Pro 4. It's actually a Surface Pro 4. There we go. It's actually a Surface Pro 4. This is a Surface Pro 4 uh, with upgraded uh, in internals, right? So it looks the same as this. Me, actually, I'm, let's change the uh, camera for you guys, right? So, oh, wait, that's not the one I was looking for. Oh, I should have done the. Uh, okay, so Surface Pro 4, this is it, right? Has the uh, Surface Pro 4 keyboard. Uh, let me make sure I don't drop it. Surface Pro 4 keyboard has backlight and everything. Good, good glass touchpad. Same, same. Uh, it's pretty much the same. Glass tra la glass touchpad. Uh, the new one has the same glass touchpad, the same keyboard. Uh, same build quality, same everything. The kickstand supposedly is a little bit better on the new one. This one looks like this, right? Let's watch a video just so just so it's more clear for you guys. Your <sighs> best budget laptop you may 1.5k views. That's not enough. That's not enough for the, the amount of fucking work I had to put into that video. That's the problem with shit with shitty <laughs> with videos like that. It does the, doesn't really What did it, what was I going to do? Oh, a Surface Pro, yeah. Mm. What's up, home office from uh, Periscope? All right, let's look at the new Surface Pro. There we go. So you see in the old Surface Pro 4, this is the new Surface Pro, which is not the 4. It's also not a number. It's a Surface Pro. Oh, these are the old ones. Surface 2, Surface 3.
Surface Pro 4, which is like this one. All right. The new design is slightly more nicer. There's slightly more curves on the corners. Slightly better uh, audio. And of course, they're now using the new KB Lake uh, processors. This one is Skylake. So one generation, uh, one generation older or newer uh, processor. Better battery life, but about four hours or so. And the i5 version does not have a fan. That's huge. That's the biggest thing about the Surface Pro 4. This is i5, but it has a fan. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I, it doesn't really bother me that this has a fan. But I admit, I am kind of worried that eventually I'm going to have to vacuum the dust from inside here. Which I don't think is that bad. I'm just, you know, fans, fans kind of, you know, can get, can get broken. And I don't want my, my laptop to get broken. That's, and this, is, this, is, this laptop is very hard to open. You're not supposed to open it anyways. Um, so that, that scares me a little, but not really that much. I am very happy that the, the new version does not have a fan. Or of i5. The i7 has a fan. Oh, the new pen, 4,096 uh, pressure points. That's twice the old uh, pressure point pen. And also, the new pen can be uh, used sideways for more kind of cool stuff, cool drawing stuff. What's up, Shivanch Kira? How are you? They're using you know new new color of keyboards, but the, the old one are also Alcantara. And that's it. They're basically reselling the Surface Pro 4 in a newer, uh, some newer specs. And if you're gonna choose, you just buy the new one because you know the specs are pretty much the same. Um. Or I mean the, yeah, the, like, this is like a, just a weaker, slightly weaker version of the new Surface Pro. So if the pricing is similar, just buy the new Surface Pro. And what pricing are we talking about here? Obviously, the lowest edition is $800. $800, that's 40,000 pesos right, right off the bat, right? 40,000 pesos right off the bat. But that's... A 4 gig RAM Intel Core M3. You don't want the M3. I don't. No, nobody should buy the M3 unless you're like a, you're like Bench. Just kidding. You should buy the i5 at the very, 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 very least. Don't buy the M3. That's for suckers. Well, not really for suckers, but more like people who have very specific needs that don't rely on processor power these are the people who just use word per, word sheets and or word documents and stuff like that don't do anything crazy with their laptops which i don't think and like if your mom only does email give her that but not really but you add 200 dollars, it's now nine one nine 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 which is fifty thousand pesos straight off, right off the bat 50,000 pesos right off the bat for the 128 gigabyte Intel Core i5 4 gigs of RAM. Jun Ching, how you now have Surface Pro on the tablet kesa dun sa generic laptop. That's true, that's true, bro. That's true. Also, you don't have to buy the new one, just buy the old one. Right? There's so many. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go du dumpster diving right now. Actually, it's not the dumpster, but. <sighs> Let's go. Here's one Surface Pro 3 i5 8 gig 256. That's pretty good. Complete freebies for 40k. This is a little pricey for my taste, but but it's got complete complete accessories, so that's not bad. It's a Surface Pro 3 
with all the added stuff, including the Surface Pro 4 keyboard. That's a Surface Pro key. Okay, better. Nice, nice, nice. That's a very nice keyboard. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is complete for 40,000 pesos. It's a little rich for my taste. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, I. What? 30,000 for the Core M3 Surface Pro. Don't, don't buy it, but I was surprised it was people actually bought the Core M3 version of the SP4. All right. What else? What else? What else? Let's see. Boss Jap has a. Wait, let's check this out. Surface Pro 4 i5 uh, for 45. Eh, no, let's good. Let let's only click on a good deal. We're only clicking on a good deal. No, I know there are good deals here. That's just Surface Pro 4 i7. Don't buy that seventy three thousand. That's a lot of money. I7 for seventy five thousand. No. There's a brand new SP4 for thirty eight seven fifty. What? Huh, not bad. Let's see. Let's see. Here's one. Surface Pro 2 in Taguig, Manila. 20,000. 19,000 pesos. No keyboard, though. This is a very good this is a very good deal. And this should still do the trick for a lot of people. You don't need to buy the new one. 20, 19,000 pesos for this. No keyboard, though. You'll have to buy your keyboard. Nice. Okay. What else do we have here? Uh, I've seen this before, the Surface Pro from Cebu, which is... I don't live there, so unfortunately, I can't buy that. Uh, he, oh, oh, Core M3. Another Core M3. Here's a 38,000 Surface Pro... Wait, what version of Surface Pro 4 is this? This is the... What? What the fuck? Oh, he lives in Nevo Ecija. That's why. Holy shit, this is a full sp This is a This is a fully loaded Surface Pro 4. 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gig hard drive, i7. Para mas mahal yata yung Surface ngayon ka presyo na ni Asus. No, 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 no. Some of these are bloated prices. Some of these are bloated prices. The the normal Surface Pro 4 price, and I can show you what the Surface, brand new, brand new from this place right here, which is selling it brand new. Look at this Mac store. They sell it brand new. Look at the Surface Pro 4 pricing here. Surface Pro 4 pricing. i5 at 38,750. 40,000 pesos. Less than 40,000 pesos. But keep in mind, you have to buy... You have to buy the keyboard and the pen first. So if you add the, the keyboard, that's 6,000, and the pen, uh, where's the pen? doesn't say, oh, I think the pen comes with the, the tablet. So that's about 40,000, roughly 45,000 pesos for a brand new Surface Pro 4 i5, 128 gigabyte. So... Some of these people are, are bloating their prices when they're selling their Surface Pro 4 for 45000 outright. Look at this guy. 45000 outright. What the spec, what's the specs on this one? It's a Core i5, 128 gig. Oh, wait. Just, I'll, I'll just buy the brand new one from Mac Store right here, which sells it for $38,750. See? Um, what else are we looking at? This is, this is a fully spec really good price holy God. including the keyboard in the box oh i wish i wish i kind of had the money for this i wish uh so i bought this one full disclosure i bought this one last year for about uh, fifty thousand pesos or about a thousand us dollars what's up hype af so this is the i5 8 gig 256 gig SSD variant, right? So this is slightly higher. When you look at uh, Mac Store's pricing for this, this would be the 52,750, and I got it second hand, which included the pen and the type cover, which I'm perfectly fine for. And uh, back when I bought it, the 256 gig version was still around 55,000 plus. Um, so I didn't want to spend like 60,000 pesos plus plus plus. 
for this model and I got it for 50,000. I'm very, I'm very happy with this. I know that's a lot of money for a lot of people. And I know some people will argue, 50,000 pesos, I'll buy a gaming laptop. No, fuck you. <laughs> this, I didn't need a gaming laptop. I have a fucking very nice computer at home. I need a very portable laptop, right? And this is not for everybody. Obviously, the Surface Pro series of laptops, they're not uh, for, for everybody because they're, they're, the, the newest editions are always too much, much more expensive than the specs that they offer. They don't have graphics cards, right? Uh, and uh, what else? They're not built for gamers, but they can play games. Uh, for 50,000 pesos, you can definitely buy a decent i7, or no, not really i7, i5 gaming laptop. And some are 50,000 pesos. Yeah, just, you know, 1080, 1050. You can probably get a 1050, right? Um, one, 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 two, one, three. <laughs> nice. Um, some people like, like, it. Ugh, where, where, where was I going with that? So that's a lot of money. And some people will buy gaming laptops. I don't need a gaming laptop. I need something portable. I don't want to break my back and have a 15 inch laptop lugging around into events where I can't even put up a tablet. I need, I need something that I can use in a tablet form, right? Like this. So anyway, I'm not going to tell you what the advantages are of a small but very powerful and very micro small laptop. Let's talk about uh, your options here if you're looking for... Uh, what, what did I... Okay, we saw... Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, we saw that one. And we saw Surface Pro 3, 30,000. Not bad. Um, Surface Pro 4, 4 Intel Core. No, no, not that one. Page 3 says Surface Pro 3 for 30,000. Here's a very good deal if specs are correct. Surface Pro 2 for 20,000 pesos. Uh, yeah. This is in Calagayan de Oro, so I'm not going to... This guy is so awesome. Super awesome machine. i7 16 gig 256. This is the fully loaded variant. 38k that's such a good deal but he's in kagaya in Vaisia, so sadly not gonna be easy to meet him uh this is max store let's go that here's the surface pro 4 for forty five thousand. that's a bad deal bad deal bad deal bad deal bad deal surface pro 3 all right for twenty five thousand pesos this is the i5 4 gig oh this is the base unit the base model no not the base model but the, the, the one that you should have a base model of the i5 version i don't think that that's not a that's not the original keyboard or is it mm, eh. not bad though Twenty five thousand is a steal for this laptop um i think the keyboard that they're using is not the official one or is it the official one i'm not sure I thought the uh, the pen loop for the Surface Pro 3 was on the left side, not the right side. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Got downsides to gaming laptop is battery life. Yeah, so you can't really do much uh, offline. You know, off cable, off off the wall productivity with a non with a with a with a gaming laptop. So that's oh, Navota. So yeah, this is this is not bad. This is not a bad deal for 25k Surface Pro 3. Surface Pro 2 for 20,000 pesos. Look at that. Look at the difference between Surface Pro 3 and 4. Or for Surface Pro 2 and 3. This is 20,000. Add 5,000 pesos, you get the Surface Pro 3. That's the difference right now. That's the deal you're looking at. This is 20,000 pesos. That's super cheap, dude. 4 gig RAM, 128 gig. Is this the i5? Please. Oh, there's. I believe there's no lower edition of this, so it should be the i5. Yeah, check it out. That's pretty good. All right. It also comes with a purple keyboard. Type. Oh, the, the keyboard is German layout. That's going to suck a little bit. All right. There we go. That's it. Good. It's in Marila Bulacan, so watch out. Surface Pro 2 for 19K. Not bad. No keyboard, though. Anyway, let's get back on topic. So, Surface Pro new version. 
it's just it's a better version of this one for slightly higher price right and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if you were in the market for this one now you have a better option if you have the extra money if you don't have the extra money feel free to pick up the old one this still is amazing uh amazing battery life the display is just super gorgeous 100 percent of srgb calibrated by somebody one uh, personally by a calibrator a physical human calibrator after this rolls off the 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 assembly line they physically look at the display and calibrate it each single one of them they don't let the computer do it somebody calibrates this personally the display so you know it's it's they call it a pre-calibrated display off the factory line it's a pre-calibrated display off the factory line so you don't have to change any of the brightness settings or the color settings or the saturation or something it's fully calibrated and i love that if you're a, if you're somebody who works with graphics a lot if you're a graphics designer if you're a web designer if this is amazing for that uh, and also this is amazing for that but also it's also a thousand dollars and keep in mind this doesn't include the pen and the keyboard right so always separate that's where microsoft gets you for the accessories so here's the specs uh i don't think i you need to know a lot of these uh it's got, comes with ssd and here's the display 2736 by 1824 that's that's almost quite that's quad hd plus kind of yeah because quad hd is 2560 by 1440 this is more than quad hd right there <clears throat> it comes with 4 8 or 16 gigs of ram um not really much i can i need to tell you where, where are the accessories though i need to buy the accessories for this where can we buy the accessories there's no surface accessories there we go so it's probably here oh yeah yeah yeah. there's the new surface pro type cover and the new surface pen the new surface pen is better but it, you know i don't really do art so i the new keyboard is 160 dollars the old one was like 450. new keyboard 160 dollars so that's another five thousand six thousand plus the pen has no pricing. What? There's no price for the pen. <laughs> How much is for the pen? Let's say it's 3,000 pesos. Usually the, the pen... The pen for the Surface Pro 4 is around 3,000, 4,000 pesos. So there you go. Uh, Surface Pro. Amazing laptop. Just like the Surface Pro 4. But better. That's... that's <laughs> that should be the slogan. Just like the Surface Pro 4, but better. Uh, I don't know. I saw I saw a picture of I Justine. So what's what's she doing these days? What is this? Surface Studio. Nobody cares. So nice smiling face. Um, <clears throat> downside to game. What are we talking about here? How much on i7? All right. There's a there, there's an interesting question. Let's go figure out how much. Oh my God! Fuck. Arrgh. Microsoft doesn't allow backing. Pressing the back button doesn't allow. Okay. The cheapest i7 would be 256 gig and 8 gigs of RAM. It's $1,600. 1600 So that's 80,000 pesos. Holy moly. That's a huge bump. The 8 gig i5 variant is $400 cheaper. Wow. Woo. No, $300. So $1,300. $1,300 is... How much? 65,000? 67, 60, 65,000 pesos. Oh my god, math. Holy fuck. My brain is fried. Ah. <laughs> Three, $300 difference between uh, i7, i5. And then the 4 gig RAM, 128 gig, 
versus so two hundred dollars to upgrade to an to a two fifty six gig SSD with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, that's a lot of money for for that small an upgrade, but eight gigs of RAM is super important though, super duper important, super duper, especially if you edit video. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Surface Pro is like a better Surface Pro Four. That's it. That's all you need to know. Um, if you have the budget, and, or, or I mean, if you if you're on a budget, look for a Surface Pro Four. People are selling their Surface Pro Four. Might get, might get the one. <laughs> might get the. Th Somebody go to Nueva Ecija or where was that? Where was that super high, super high end? Sur holy, holy crap! Did you? S okay, okay. Let's go back to that one. Let's go back to that one. Um, Surface Pro Four. This one? No. Let's look. Let's compare the price of a brand new Surface Pro Four sold by Mac Store versus the one that's being sold for 38,000 pesos complete right right all right here in in Nueva Ecija right so the i uh, the oh wait what how is this different wait no the surface pro form i7 256 gig is 65,000 pesos it's being sold second hand for 38,000 that's roughly half the price. It's roughly half the price. No, it's, it's more like forty percent off to get to get this guy. And it it this one comes with the keyboard. It is re it is half off. It's half the price if you include the keyboard and pen. It's half the price. I seven. This is seventy thousand pesos with the keyboard. Seventy thousand pesos with the keyboard. Thirty eight thousand for second hand. Half the price. <laughs> Somebody who lives in Nueva Ecija is going to be very lucky to buy this laptop. Holy moly! There it is. There's the sticker. i7, 256 gig, 16 gigs of RAM. Wow. All right. Let's not talk about that anymore. Let's move on to the Xperia. Anybody want to talk about the Xperia? Somebody said they wanted to talk about it. <laughs> Xperia XZ Premium in the Philippines is priced at 45,600 pesos. Yes, it's 40. Look at that. There's streaming. Look at that. My, look at my face. Uh, uh, 45,000. It's 44. No, no, no. What? 45490. So the price is 45490. 45490. That's the price. Um and let's play the video so you can see what's going on. What you absolutely nothing new to see here when it comes to the design it looks nice but it doesn't go much farther away from what we've already known from xperia phones ang hindi nila sinasabi dito that you should know when you 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 look at these phones the new actually wait 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 it's, watch this and I'll, I'll do something else what's up mulong Uh, Norm says, sad lang could discontinue your mid-range phones on Sony. Yes, I, I know about the news where they said they're going to discontinue the phone, the mid-range phone on so Sony. But who really cares? Nobody bought the crappy X Xperia bullshit. Uh, some of the... Okay. The, the Z5 Compact, though, is sadly going to go away. But... Holy shit, some of the mid-range phones on Sony was super shitty like really bad specs and really super expensive for the specs that it offers that's why 
What are you doing, Sony? Come on. And that's why they're they're losing market share anyways. So, all right, back to this video. All right, so this is one feature. Um, they have a slow, super slow mo feature called uh, that shoots 960 frames uh, per second, and I can actually show you that later. Um, it actually leverages the sensor technology. Joan Samson, thank you for the subscribe. They leverage the sensor technology. Uh, it's called. Their sensor now has memory on the sensor itself. So that means the sensor sends in immediately the data to the memory without having to go through the, the processor or the bus or other memory parts of your system. It has a memory on its own. It's called a memory on a chip or memory on sensor or something like that. Anyway, that enables Sony to create a phone that shoots 960 frames per second in 720p. Whether or not that's important to you probably will affect your decision here. It's not important to me, but it is a very cool feature. You know, you can make your own slow mo channel, right? Slow mo channels are very, very popular. Slow mo YouTube channel. <clears throat> PlayStation lang ata magandang ginawa ng Sony. Ouch, man! Ouch! <laughs> Dude, I <laughs> honest to goodness, Mulong, I, I would have agreed with you, but I have a lot of Sony products. I mean, not a lot, but a few Sony products that I I've recently been. Okay, all right, let me show you. I have obviously the 4K TV in the back there, which I'm not showing you. Everybody knows what that is. I also bought this uh, lapel microphone from Sony. This is my little lapel microphone right there, which is a very good high quality lapel microphone and it's actually very affordable. I bought this from Sony Japan for $20 uh, and they shipped it to me and then, you know, now I can use it. I don't, I'm not using it on the stream, but I could if you wanted to. A nice lapel mic, very high quality, $20. And what the, all right, I'll show you what the last Sony product I bought. I went to you pound it. It is exactly what it is. The the web browser already auto completes my my search. I bought these, the Sony waterproof MP3 player headphones for four thousand five hundred. They haven't delivered it yet. Uh, I just literally ordered it before the show around eight p.m. today. I ordered waterproof headphones. I want to swim and listen to my stuff, listen to my shit. Okay. I don't know. I I want. I want, kasi okay, nung bata ko, I swam a lot. Nagsiswimming ako madalas. Kaya medyo payat ako nung bata ko. And I want, I want to go back to swimming again. Kahit maging negro ako. Uh, for, for, to, to slim down, to, to exercise, to exercise a little bit more, right? Okay, so that's what, that's why I bought the waterproof sports MP3 player headphones. Keep in mind, these are not Bluetooth. You cannot pair them with your phone. These are only MP3 players, right? Don't go buying these and say, Oh my God, how can I get phone? Ko? No, that doesn't work. No. <laughs> All right. Just to make sure, dude. Just to make sure. Also, these are very good. These are very good. By the, do you know that these have microphones in them? And then you can use them as hearing aids? What? Hearing aid, not hearing aids as in the venereal disease, no, the HIV. Hearing it, you can turn on the microphone of the Walkman headphones and they'll amplify the sounds around you. <laughs> so, parang hearing aid siya. Also, you can walk around with it and turn on the microphone. At least, pag binubusi ni ka, marinig mo, right? So, it's, it's nice that it has that feature. Anyway, back to the topic. Uh, Xperia XZ Premium. <laughs> So, okay, after seeing that video, could you tell me what the main, my, the main number one thing, amazing, awesome thing is 
about the Xperia XC Premium that you saw from that video, you can't. You can't tell. It's actually 4K HDR. The display is 4K. 3840 by 2160 pixels inside the 5.5 inch display. No other phone except for another Xperia phone has got 4K in the display. No other phone. Everybody has Quad HD. This, uh, where's my, where, oh, it's, this one, this Blackberry is Quad HD. A lot of phones are Quad HD. Uh, the LG G6 is Quad HD Plus. The uh, Galaxy S8 is Quad HD Plus. Nobody else has done 4K in a phone except for Sony. The first one was the Z5 Premium, which did not succeed in, because of more than few reasons. Uh, but also because it was expensive, it didn't support 4K a lot because it the okay so the the there's one reason why right uh google's android system did not natively support 4k resolution back then and it's i think nougat but the thing ng nougat it's now fully supported to run your your phone in complete 4k but uh, also, also okay. So the previous version, the Z5 Premium, did not have HDR, right? High dynamic range. Not the camera. The camera always had a HDR for for camera. But the display now has high dynamic range, which is different from HDR of the camera. Display HDR means you can see a lot more colors. It's brighter. There's more difference in black to white. That it will blow your mind once you see it. I can't show you because you're watching this on a standard range display. But I can show you what the phone looks like by plugging my SD card in. I did it! Let's see what we got. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure Marami on failed uh, vi video shots dito. Let's see what we got here. Here's a, here's a definite failed video shot here. Predicted again. And it yeah. will give you up to four of the best photos again that it took prior to you pressing the trigger. You can choose all four, maybe three, just two, or only one. It's up to you. That's the power of Sony's predictive guide. So they were showing you some camera. This was when they were showing some camera features. Uh, the Xperia can shoot, will shoot four. I mean, it will start burst shooting if you want, and then in that burst shooting, it will choose four suggested uh, shots that are like the perfect. So that girl who was on the trampoline, she was not doing that to bounce her boobs because I don't think she had much boobs. So she was on the trampoline. So the camera, the camera of the phone will. Choose the best part of the trampoline jumping that she was doing. Uh, anyway. <laughs> this is super weird though. This one... Okay, so there, here's two phones from Sony. One of them does not... is, is 1080p... H, 1080p without without HDR. It's this one on the right, right side. Oh my god, I'm doing crazy stuff with, the, with my camera. And then on the left side... The left side is 4K HDR. Honestly, honestly, slightly not super easy to see which one of these is better looking. Very hard to see, especially when you're talking about a 5.5 inch display. And that, I honestly admit, is going to be a problem when you're talking about a 5.5 inch display. Did she have a nice booty? Nah, not really. There are very, very, very small things you will notice in 4K if you just in f in a five inch, 5.5 inch display. If you really s put it next to your face, but when it comes to the you know like like Steve Jobs said, like Steve Jobs has said, the human eye can only see like 300 plus PPI, not not more than 300 like 30. So we're looking at a PPI here on the 4K HDR display of 881 pixels per inch. 
881 pixels per inch. Natatandaan nyo yung panahon, guys, na nagbi-BTS tayo, ang number one tanong, Kuya, ilang PPI po yan? Ah, PPI po yan! Good thing nobody gives a shit about PPI anymore. Because fuck! Sony just destroyed the PPI game! 881 pixels per inch. That's crazy. Uh, dito sa shot na to, obviously, I shot this in 4K. I can't really show you're streaming in 720. Well, I'm streaming in 1080 and the window that you're looking at here, which is, you know, the, the little corner in my video is 720. So, not really gonna easily show you the difference here. There's some very, very minor differences. But honestly, naked eye, very hard to see. Very hard to see. And here's some shots. I'll, I'll just go straight to the hands-on part, though. Which one is my hands-on? Oh yeah, here's uh, here's the shot of the the. Oh, I love Steve Jobs, Alex. Well, every, I think everybody loves Steve Jobs. Here's the 960 frames per second, super slow mo. So here's what it looks like, normal speed, and you can see the the. I probably have a shot of the. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. All right. Let's talk about let, this is the normal speed right here's the normal speed look at the flowers circling the phone and then when it hits the niner you can do some matrix stuff with this and apparently i took it down as soon as i got the shot for some stupid reason <laughs> all right oh, oh yeah 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 i was trying again here's the second try right 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 i forgot here you go wow super slow mo True. Nobody will know. Okay, hindi masyadong pansin yung HDR. None of you will be able to see HDR. Even I won't be able to see HDR from this video because my camera doesn't shoot HDR. You have to have new equipment and new video codecs to shoot in pure high dynamic range. So you can see the slow-mo here. At least that you can see. That's 960 frames per second slow-mo. That's at least something I can show you. <laughs> All right, um, and then the hands-on. I like the hands-on. What is this? This is creative, but yeah, boring, boring, boring. Hands-on, here we go. Look at how shiny this phone is. I am amazed at how... The, re the reason why... The reason why I mention about how shiny it is, because this is the perfect phone for when you're a guy who always needs to fix your hair. And when I... When... when when my hair is not short, I always have to fix it because it's my hair is terrible. So what you gotta do, and you don't want to be like a girl, you know, opening their uh, their um, what is it, what is it called? The, their little powder thing. Did you check? Oh my god! Oh, oh no! Just buy Xperia XZ Premium. Even the front part of the phone is so shiny in, in the top and bottom, you can sort of see your face. On the sides of it. Uh, obviously, here's their HDR demo video again. 4K HDR. Now you can see it a little bit more clearly here, but oh my god, that's such a sharp video. Such a sharp, you know. And I'm only seeing this in 1080p right now. I don't have. I'm not streaming from uh, my 4K TV. But it's super sharp. You can't see the pixels. The camera regularly up pixels and I like this part where all the umbrellas are because I could there's a very 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 small very small lettering on that umbrella <clears throat> very small lettering on that umbrella and you can read it I I, it, I think it says mint M-I-N-T or something but very small letters on that umbrella and I love I love the fact that you can read it but does it matter to a lot of phone users? Probably not. Yes, shiny puede na mag selfie gamit yung backup. Remember the days, and this is the same, and 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 funnily, funny enough, we're talking about the Xperia line as well. Remember when Sony was still selling X Ericsson phones, and the Ericsson phones, the ones with like the big, ca the 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 ones. I don't know what the branding they called for the camera phones from Ericsson, but 
the Ericsson phones had that mirror next to the phone, the, the phone camera. So you can see yourself on the mirror when you shoot your, yourself. <laughs> that is the effect of, of the, you know, I, I don't know. Just, that was, I thought that was kind of fun. Look at that! Look at that! It's so shiny! So shiny! My precious! Okay, so the one, what I'm doing here right now is showing you the user interface. Because I have to, there's a point I need to make, and I'm gonna make it on the video that I was also uh, was also planning to shoot and, and edit, which I still haven't done yet, but I'll tell you right now. The interface is running either at a super scaled up, or, or uh, it's like Windows, right? Remember Windows? Normally, if you have a very high resolution display on Windows, Windows will make your text and, and icons bigger. Or it will run in a lower resolution and the display will blow up everything else, right? Look at this, right? 4K is four 1080p displays put together. Why are the icons not four times smaller? Or Yes, why aren't the icons four times smaller? It's only showing a four grid across and like a five grid vertically, right? Look at when I open Facebook, look at the font. It's so big. That means they're either scaling it to a bigger size or they're running at 1080p, which was the previous generation. The Z5 Premium was running at 1080p on the interface, but when it had to play 4K content, hey, hi, that's me, without the haircut, without the new haircut. I would probably think that they're running at 1080p. That saves more battery. That's the that's reason why, honestly. Um, keep in mind the S8 defaults to 1080p without scaling to 1440p for the same exact reason. Look at this. They also have the 4K camera video separate from the video f video capabilities of the phone. You have to go to a specific 4K video recording app or, or part of the camera. The video, the standard video does not shoot 4K. Weird, I know brain brain cells i don't understand but i wish they scale they made me appreciate the 4k even more by making some of the icons smaller i want some small ass icons i want my fonts to be small as fuck this is some this is why i'm into 25 i want my i unfortunately i turned off my blackberry priv already um, and it boots like it takes like five million minutes to boot because it's fucking blackberry. That's why oh. The blackberry priv or any decent quad HD phone will is properly scaled typically to make you fit more stuff on the display What's the price on that Sony phone it would translate to around I want to say 800 ish i want to say 830 dollars something around there 850 that's what that would be pushing it in the united states i bet it's going to be like 800 or 799 exactly right i think that's going to be your your exact price there in the united states um i'm a bit disappointed that when you look at it natively and and anybody who sees it they're gonna think, holy crap, you have a 1080p phone? Oh, man, sad. Your life is so sad. Why do you have a 1080p phone? Your display sucks, man. I wanna show them 4K. I wanna blow their mind. Sony, make your phone blow my mind away. You could have done that with a, with a more dense interface a little bit. I know it's going to be super hard to navigate with pressing like a microscopic button. Because it's got 880 pixels per inch. Right? Do you know how big a, an icon is? It's like 128 pixels. That is one, one eighth an inch. That's one icon. A 
That's how much the at what? One eighth an inch for a bit for the exact one is to one scaling of a of a high resolution icon on Android is one eighth of an inch on the Xperia XZ Premium on a one is to one scaling. Obviously, obviously they're gonna scale it up. Obviously, they're just gonna scale it up so you can click on the icon. But me, at least scale it to a little bit smaller, right? Just don't make it scale like one is to one. Uh, I mean, like eight, eight is to one, four is to one, something like that. Oh my god, it booted. And a, rel and a relatively decent fix, uh, speed. All right. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you this clearly. But, like, for example, just, just, reading, just reading Twitter on this phone, right? There's a lot more stuff packed onto the display here on Twitter, right? You can, like... I, I can get like 10, uh, well, not, well, how many is that? Like six tweets on my screen at the same time. That's what I'm looking for in a high resolution display. Obviously, they're going to scale it because it's a small display. But, you know, I'm, at least give me more stuff. And now my BlackBerry Priv is getting all the, the notifications that I missed because I turned it off. Um, so... In, in conclusion, <laughs> sorry, that was a little bit of a rant, maybe, maybe. Uh, in conclusion, Xperia XZ Premium. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's talk about the specs. Okay, so my personal opinion, they could have done more with that 4K HDR display. But obviously, it's going gonna, it's gonna to matter a lot when it comes to watching Netflix and YouTube. Because YouTube has 4K. Netflix has 4K HDR. Amazon Prime has 4K HDR. There's a lot of new new places that you can get your 4K HDR, you know, you know your 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 fix with. But um, Netflix is one of the biggest ones with 4K HDR, and 4K HDR is coming to Netflix on mobile on on Android phones. And I don't know if it's gonna come when iPhone is only 1080p. So let's 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 uh, scrap that idea. Um, You will be able to appreciate that 4K HDR once you watch Netflix. Unfortunately, the unit that we were playing with at the launch event could not log into Netflix because it was, you know, I didn't want, I didn't want, it, it was like 5% battery at the point when I was using it. Anyway, let's talk about some of the features here, uh, despite, uh, aside from the uh, 4K HDR display. Uh, like I said, 960 frames per second video some of this stuff is oh they're talking about 4k hdr uh watch the best amazon prime video content now in 4k what does this mean are they partnering with amazon prime that's weird they should at least give you like a free subscription if you buy a Z zrx z premium if they're gonna use amazon prime as a perfect as an example uh also yes it is waterproof and dustproof uh, getting the standard smartphone sound. What? Setting the standard for smart. I saw that it was scary. Uh, the most powerful processor in the Sony Mobile. Uh, yes, it is the Snapdragon 835. Nothing to complain about. It's absolutely the newest, most powerful processor you can get today. Uh, and, well, you can stream your PS4. Nobody gives a shit about that. So, let's, uh, let's read some of the specs here. Um... What kind of color do we want? I, I do like the silver because of the, you know, the mirror sheen. Uh, we get 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage with micro SD. We can either get a single SIM or a nano SIM. And it's running Android 7.1 Nougat. Snapdragon 835 with 32, 30 milliamp hour battery. Pretty decent. Quick charge 3.0. Not bad. Pretty decent. Um, IP68. Corning Glory Glass 5 front and back. Everything else is coming up really nice when it comes to the specs, as you can see. We have obviously the 5.5 inch 4K HDR display with all of the Sony technology like Triluminous, X-Reality Pro and stuff like that. Now the camera is a 19 megapixel motion eye camera. That only means that's features and stuff. Uh, I believe it's a 1 over 2. Yeah, 1 over 2 over 3. And here's the new sensor technology they're talking. Mobile memory stacked sensor. That's what they call it. And it's a 1.2 micron pixel pitch. 
pretty decent pretty decent not the 1.5 micron but it is 19 megapixels so it is more megapixels for compared to like the uh google pixel which is 12 megapixels um the front camera is 13 megapixel not bad not bad acceptable i like it what else uh obviously everything else high resolution audio blah 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 nah Nothing interesting. Obviously, it has all, still has the fingerprint scanner on the right side. In the United States, Sony has some legal troubles with the fingerprint scanner, so it is disabled in the United States. If you buy a United States version, you will not get the fingerprint scanner. Um, and it will be priced at around eight hundred dollars in the Philippines. It's a um, little bit more than that: forty-five thousand six hundred pesos or forty-five thousand four hundred ninety. Is it worth it? That will be the question now. Is the Xperia XZ Premium worth it? It honestly depends on you. Um, for Here's the thing. For 90% of the smartphone pop needing people, this is not for them. I would even ga uh, gamble as to say, I barely watch anything from my Amazon Prime video and I pay $99 per month. $99 a month? Oh, you use it for next day delivery. I see. Because <laughs> here in the Philippines, obviously, we do not have Amazon um, delivery or Amazon, you know, shopping. So the only, like, you can only get Amazon Prime Video here in the Philippines. And we only pay, I want to say $3 a month for Amazon Prime Video here in the Philippines. Which I don't know the tier. So let's go to Amazon Prime Video. Let's see. Uh, all right. Membership renews for $6 a month after six months. Okay. It starts at $2.99 a month for the first six months. Cancel anytime. It doesn't say if there are tiers for like 4K or anything. Is it just that? Is it that? Is that $6 a month for up to 4K HDR content? Uh, it doesn't say. $99 a year. Okay. All right. That makes it. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. I thought, well, wow, holy crap. So Amazon. I didn't know Amazon Prime was that expensive. Um, uh, $10 a month or less than $10 a month, like $8 or so a month. Makes more sense. Makes more sense. Now I kind of want to have some Amazon Prime uh, in here in Philippines. If I'm, if I'm paying $6 a month. I should get Amazon, you know, deliveries too, but sadly not in the Philippines. But it's it looks like a nice, you know, if I'm gonna get 4K already from just from just the uh, base subscription, then I like it. So I pay, I pay, I want to say twelve dollars. I want I I pay twelve dollars for Netflix 4K HDR, and it's around eight. Um, nine dollars for 1080p netflix so i pay extra three dollars and also it's also already twelve dollars for netflix hd uh, 4k hdr this is just six dollars which is literally half the price of netflix for every month for me i like but i digress let's go back to the xd premium like i said this is not uh, a, a, a product that is for everybody I could I would say at least 90% of people will not be interested in this phone especially in its 4k HDR capabilities especially since phones people a lot of people would rather use quad HD that seems to be the sweet spot right now quad HD um, but as for somebody like me or somebody who has to shoot 960 frames per second, you want to start a YouTube channel that sh that is super slow mo video. This is not a bad choice, honestly. Honestly, I think Sony has a a niche phone here that dominates that niche because it's the only phone in that niche. I love 4K. I love HDR, and this phone speaks to me. In that way and obviously the, f the features are pretty nice too stock android or not, not stock android but 
relatively stock Android is nice too because I hate bloatware and shit. It's a little expensive though. It's eight hundred plus dollars, and it, I don't know if I need it, but it speaks to me. <coughs> that's that's how I that's how I describe the Xperia XZ Premium. <coughs> I just want to reiterate though that I bought my Sony 4K HDR TV for much less than this. I paid six hundred dollars for an six hundred plus, six hundred fifty dollars. Or actually, I didn't pay because I won the contest. But if you were to buy a Sony 4K HDR TV, uh, the forty-three inch version that I have right here is around six hundred plus dollars. And that, you know, honestly, I think you should prioritize the TV. First, for 4K, before you get a 4K phone. But that depends on your, literally, that depends on your consumption preferences, right? If you want to watch 4K HDR on an 881 pixels per inch display, I'm not going to stop you because I'm a bit... <laughs> it's, it, it, <laughs> it's, it's just that amount of ridiculousness that I love. <laughs> I see how it says I have Hulu, Netflix, Amazon. Oh my God, you have a lot of subscriptions. Hulu, Netflix, Amazon, HBO Go, and I'm contemplating on getting YouTube TV. Um, YouTube Red is that you? You is that the one? Oh no, wait, this is the uh, regular live TV. Hulu TV. I have not even cut my cable yet. I'm beginning to think cable is cheaper. Low. <laughs> yeah, in the Philippines we have a lot less. Uh, you know subscription services we have um a lot of uh netflix competitors here that shoot uh, that have 1080p um we have a live tv tv uh competitors as well uh streaming my cable box is not even connected because i watch everything via apple tv well it's fine you know it's fine i i i me, me, I'd be a cable cutter. I'd 100% be a cable cutter. I don't watch TV. I don't watch live TV. The commercials really is 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 a waste of time for me. I hate seeing commercials. So I like on demand. And obviously, thankfully, I have the internet connection. Thank you, PLDT Fiber, PLDT Home Fiber. I'm allowed to say it because it is what I'm connected to. <laughs> All right. So that's the Xperia XZ Premium. A lot of money, and honestly. You could, should probably consider the Galaxy S8, the LG G6, or pretty much a lot of the other flagships before you think about getting this. If your number one priority, getting 4K HDR con uh, 4K HDR phone in a display, or or uh, uh, 960 frames per second slow motion, or just the elegant design that Sony comes up with, which is not necessarily the most exciting I mean look at look at the bezels it's not exciting at all that's that, that that's how yeah that's then you, that's your prerogative right I like that Sony is trying here with their 4k HDR capabilities I wish I just wish the interface was a lot more dense that's all because it still looks like a 1080p display when you, oh man, that that really just bothers me though, really bothers me. But that's our topic, and that's pretty much our end of the topic, our of our topics for today's show. Um, yeah, I don't want to discuss. Uh, there's there's a follow up to the um, there's a follow up to the what's it called? Um, so that there's a follow up. Uh, to the anti-distracted driving law in the Philippines where um, they already suspended the anti-distracted driving law for being unclear and also unlawful not for, for the actual same reasons not for the right reasons they deemed it unlawful because it is required by law for a new um, uh, uh, you know citation or something to circulate for six months 
in an information dissemination package thingamajig before you enforce the law. So, as the anti-distracted driving law, it should still be six more, five, five months and three and a half weeks before policemen should be able to uh, 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 catch or, or, or pick up distracted drivers. And that, they're not doing that. They're already doing that. So they suspended the law because they need a lot more time to disseminate information about that law. Uh, number two, which is kind of related, uh, the DICD, which is the uh, Digital Internet Something Summit or something, of the Philippines, is also developing uh, Wi-Fi for EDSA. Free Wi-Fi for EDSA. DICD. Wi-Fi EDSA. Which is the number one main thoroughfare in Metro Manila, in the Philippines. Uh, let's get rid of this. Um, all right, it seems like Yugatek uh, <laughs> is the number one guy on this search. So this is the funniest thing. Um, apparently, the DICT, DITC has already started rolling out the fiber network for EDSA free Wi-Fi project. An engineering crew has been seen installing cables along EDSA with signages that indicate EDSA free Wi-Fi DICT. They were seen laying out cables along the walls of the underpass in Kumbao last night. Which is very funny because that is so, so ironic and also seemed like kind of on purpose that they would outlaw distracted driving via phone and also make free Wi-Fi happen exactly on the street exactly on the street where it should not be happening which is very funny um i i think that's a i mean w without that context of not being allowed to use uh gadgets while driving i think it's a good thing uh that they're allowing free wi-fi in edsa and people who are on the street outside not driving should be able to take advantage of their free Wi-Fi. Assuming we have the Wi-Fi is actually good. Um, what was I? But yeah, I think it's just super ironic that anti-distracted driving law came first. And then the free Wi-Fi came second. Sort of kind of. Sort of kind of saying that, hey dudes start driving with your phones on because we have Wi-Fi now and we can catch you and the fine is a hundred dollars per <laughs> per uh, per you know for for the first offense I see hot says not to be political but why did uh, Duterte reject the EU's financial help when the only condition is to not kill is not to kill people that makes him guilty don't you think uh, he was he has already what do you call this admitted to killing people in the line of duty some somewhere somehow and then he said maybe not even in the line of duty somewhere somehow so he's always been hinting that he's gonna kill people and i think you know i think uh whether or not in the line of duty he's he's he cannot keep that promise of not killing people so i think you know he definitely regards killing people for his uh, uh, man mandate on a, on a higher priority than getting the EU's financial help. Whether or not that's, you know, that's, you believe that to be true. I mean, you, in you, you believe that he's in the right or you believe that he's in the wrong, that's up to you. So that's, that's how we're gonna tackle this political, that, that kind of political question is, you know, your opinion matters. But I'm not gonna give you when you know, um, whatever. But yeah, I think he could not keep that promise anyway, and he values that you know he values his ability to kill people more than the EU's financial help. That's definitely you know that's definitely what we're getting from that, <clears throat> and that's not a political political uh, interpretation of that. Uh, Icy Hot says that's crimes against humanity. Um, if it's unlawful killing, that's definitely true. Um, 
if it's lawful killing, then yes. And I'm not saying, I'm not talking about extrajudicial killings because that's obviously not correct. And I'm not like, whether or not you deserve to be killed is, must always be uh, decided by judge and jury. There's just no question about that. And obviously, you could argue that Duterte may or may not be supportive of extrajudicial killings. A lot of people will say he's probably behind it. I don't have anything to prove yes or no, but there's definitely, you know, where you could say there's where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's a lot of smoke. I'm not saying he's yes or no, but there's a lot of smoke. Um, Norm says it's martial law here in Mindanao for 60 days. Well, Norms, you're not in Mindanao necessarily, but yes, in the Philippines, in Mindanao, uh, there is martial law right now because they're the um, the re not the rebel group. This is a uh, the separatist group called the Mar the I forgot their name, uh, but invaded Marawi out of uh, after a um. A, uh, after a little bit of combat with Philippine military, they moved to the, the town of Marawi and took over that place recently. And uh, Duterte came back from Russia in a, in a hurry and he, he enacted a martial law in the whole um, island of Mindanao. I want to call I, I want to say island, but yeah, th the Philippines is divided into three big sections. Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and he made Marawi is a very small part of Mindanao, but he enacted martial law on the entire island of Mindanao. Whether or not that's proper, I don't know. But the the people who took over the town of Marawi, they're not ISIS, okay? They are ISIS. I want not apologists, but they they side with they side themselves with ISIS. But they're not ISIS. I think there's a distinction here that needs to be made, uh, especially since ice, an ISIS cell is probably the scariest thing ever. If we actually have ISIS in the Philippines, then we are fucking screwed. I think we have a regular band here of probably you know a separatist force that that um that either align themselves with isis or uh um you know they probably have had contact with isis but they're not necessarily part of isis um and a lot of people are trying to make sure that we're that to make that distinction by saying this is not isis because we are there's going to be a lot more trouble from a lot more things and not just isis because us think about what happens to the entire world if they think the philippines is housing isis there's going to be a lot of people not going to like the philippines right um Compared to something like, okay, this is a group that is, are Filipinos in nature that are against the current, um, you know, uh, regime or whatever you call it. And they side with ISIS. That is a different story versus ISIS is invading the Philippines, right? That's, we need to make that distinction. distinction. I, think, I think that's important. And I agree with a lot of people who are trying to make that distinction more clear. But that being said, I'm not an expert in this field. I, I just I just call them how I see them. I'm not an expert. I'm not a military expert. I don't even know. Like I said, I don't even know the name of the group anymore. I forgot. I read it somewhere in the news. And holy crap. I'm just kind of really sad how this is happening in the Philippines right now. Um, it's kind of getting worse, but hopefully it gets better soon. Like, there was, um, 
Okay, I'm <laughs> this before just before we end, I'm gonna say that. Uh, on the news recently, they said they were probably expecting something to happen in Luzon, in Metro Manila, to to for. Uh, so, uh, probably somebody in the same boat as these separatists would attack Metro Manila instead of Mindanao for some reason and say so they doubled the security or or the the military force and police force in 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 Metro Manila I don't think that's going to happen Metro Manila is a is a busy place for a lot of this this kind of stuff but that also that rumor could also allow for the government to act in such a way that there is a terror threat in Metro Manila. That could lead the government to take drastic actions to change how Metro Manila works. And if you think about it, you know, I'm not saying they're going to do it and I hope not, but if something if they could trigger something they could go enact uh, um, martial law here in Luzon as well they just need that one thing to happen to enact martial law anywhere and I'm not saying they're gonna take advantage of martial law and be like Marcos all over again but a lot of people here in the Philippines are understandably not interested in another Marcos and martial law is the trigger word for a lot of people martial law is like no 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 right and I understand because even uh, you know think about Metro Manila think about martial law in Metro Manila that would mean curfews that would mean police um, or, or military checkpoints that would mean like so much more crazy stuff to happen in Metro Manila and I, I, I don't really want that to happen because I want my peaceful Metro Manila. And I want my peaceful Philippines, the entire Philippines. I want a peaceful Philippines. So there you go. Um, let's read some of these comments before we end the show. I don't like that Duterte is anti-American. I think he's anti-everything at this point. He's been offending people left and right. <laughs> And I, I understand, yeah, he's um, he's a very abrasive character. And I don't necessarily disagree with you, definitely. Um, I'm not pro-Duterte, he's, he's definitely, I mean, I'm not anti-Duterte, I'm just, I just, sadly, you know, can't, I'm, I'm so neutral with these kinds of things. Um, I wish I was, I, the reason I'm neutral in these things, because I don't study politics, so I, I, I can't make a decision like if I were not an expert in smartphones I will not be able to make a decision between uh, you know iPhone and, and Samsung and LG I need to be an expert that's how I am I need to be an expert before I make a decision before I buy a car I need to be an expert in those cars for that small amount of time that I need to be an expert of it I can't I can't do it without all of the knowledge and Without any knowledge, I can't make any drastic decisions right now. Um, I already know what China's motive is. That's why they're giving Duterte money. Prob Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a political analyst. This, this thing is like... Really just flies over my head at this point. Like, what is China doing? What is, what is South Korea doing? Is something like uh, I? Sorry, but it's, it's what's what's going on with Russia? What uh, is? Are we friends with Russia? I'm not. I I don't know. All I can do is listen to the news. Uh, Russia and China are America's most likely enemy. And nemesis are most uh, America's most likely nemesis. And for Duterte to go in their side. Uh, Probably. Uh, but you're very smart, Alex. That's why people listen to you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm not that super smart, but... Um, yeah, thank you. Um, like, 
I don't want to divide people by, by my political opinions, that's for sure. Um, if ever there's anything I need to want, it's just, I just want peace. I want... Heck, I want fair trade. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, to be anti-America is... Honestly, you know, you know, it's kind of the in thing. It's kind of in style. Obviously, Europe really hates America for, you know, for a lot of things, I guess. Uh, America is obviously a lot of very, you know, I don't know if this is a, a lot of people, if this is necessarily true or not. But a lot of people see America as obnoxious and, you know, uh, putting influence in a lot of people, a lot of parts of the world. And there's some truth to that. There's some, you know, and also there's there's nothing wrong with that as well. Seriously. So, like I said, it's not always black and white. Um, let's just say I don't want martial law to be to happen in anywhere in the Philippines. Um, as far as you know, I, I definitely am not in favor of killing anybody. Uh, without proper judge, jury, and, and, and whatnot, right? That's 100%, right? The law, that's the law. I need, I just need law and order, really. Special victim, you should or something. <laughs> well, who's that? Ice Cube is gonna come, come up, or wait, who's the, who's the, who's the black dude that I remember? Anyway, um, no extra judicial, judicial killings. If you have to, Put him, put him in the judicial system. Let the judges do it, right? Um, there are definitely a lot of Filipinos in America. That is definitely true. Um, there are a lot of Filipinos everywhere. We're like the nomads of every single... We're like Chinese, pretty much. China is pretty much like... like remember how Chinatown... There's always a Chinatown in major cities everywhere. There's one in the Philippines. There's one in San Francisco. Everywhere. And we're, we're kind of like that, except we don't have, like, a Filipino town. That's not how, you know, we're not that big of a name. But there's a lot of Filipinos. Just go to, like, Disneyland and <laughs> everywhere. Anyway, hey, what's up, Genji Choi? Good morning to you, too. Anyway, um, you know, I don't know if we want to still going to discuss these politics things. But there's definitely a lot, a lot of Filipinos, some Filipinos in America. Especially California, I think. Um, but everywhere i just think they're they're not necessarily in the middle part of america oh okay well where's my juice for some reason i was not able to finish my juice uh not so much here in houston i really like texas though i know i mean if i were to pick uh if i were to like live somewhere in america i would pick texas um and, that, and that's not trying to patronize you or anything right um from what i understand texas has a lot of wide open spaces not just not like kansas or anything but it's like a big area um and i like big areas uh also i'm a i'm a, on the other side of the coin i'm a big 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 fan of san francisco's hills but obviously it's gonna be hard to live in san francisco with all the rent and all that Plus the taxes on in San Francisco and California is very high. Um, I do know a lot of my f f relatives live in California, Sacramento, uh, in Fairview, Fairview? No, not Fairview, Fairfield, right? Fairfield, yes. Um, and a lot in, oh my God, where is that place south of? Anyway, just, just the Bay Area. I have like, pro I can probably name 20 and then 20 of my relatives live in the bay area and probably you know f distant relatives that i don't know the name of will probably in the hundreds and 200s um but you know if i were to like if i were just to have to choose and survive in the united states i'd pick texas because you know lower taxes Bigger spaces. I love bigger spaces. Everybody's welcome. Um, San Francisco is very nice to visit. I love the... 
like you're be you'll be on the top of a hill you'll see down the hill so far and see the sea or or the whatever you'll see there and across the the bay you'll see the other part of america that's how your view is like so far you can see so far and there's so many things to see in that one single view and that is literally like more than half of the streets in in san francisco it's so scenic and it there's so many hills it's so amazing when i when i went there um i know that's probably like oh god that that's every everybody in san francisco is probably already sick of that but here in metro manila all you see are freaking buildings all you see are freaking buildings not even a tree or two but in in san francisco you see so far down there there's trees there's sea there's there's a big bridge and then on the other side of that there's another part of america and you can see so far that's like what 50 50 miles or, or more right that's how far you can see from this one hill and that's like more than 50 percent of the streets of san francisco that's amazing i can walk all day like oh my god i can see that part of the i can see that part over there that's 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 Sausalito or something like that. I mean, that's wow. Crazy. I love that. Um, Houston is flat. Do you, Duterte wants to be neutral, I guess. Go with America. Oh my God. My, my nose is starting. It's the... It's the electric fan. Uh, go with America and Russia just in case of World War III. Just to say. Glenn, it seems to me he does not like America. My family is in Canada, though. Hey, um, well, what's a what's a good Canadian quote? Sorry, I uh, okay. So, realistically, I wanna I like Canada, uh, the best. Uh, it's gonna be easier if I want to move, uh, somewhere to move to Canada instead of the United States. The United States have more stricter, um, immigration policies than Canada. Canada could use a lot more people in their, you know, skilled. Uh, workers. Uh, obviously, I'm not a skilled worker. I'm a video YouTuber person. But uh, Canada allows. If I can, you know, if if I were to choose, it's it's easier to get into Canada via immigration. Uh, it has the same resources, pretty much, for technology as the United States, and you should be able to just, you know once you have your canadian visa or canadian you know nationality or immigration whatever once you got that i don't know do you have, does canada have a green card then it would be easier to jump to the united states for whatever thing you want so canada is a more realistic option uh if i really just wanted to be like in the same vicinity as the united states um but there, those are i don't take that those kind of op options seriously because it's it's hard either way. Uh, my family asks me uh, what what my what I like plan on doing eventually. I said I told them I like New Zealand. I don't know how easy or hard it is. I heard you know it's not that bad, and I love New Zealand for some reason. I, I think it's a pretty cool country. Um, Australia is also very cool, but I think New Zealand is much cooler. Not not in the temperature sense. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, so when and w where and when did you visit the United States? Okay, so a lot, my last visit to the United States was in 2008. Yes, 2008. Um, I was, the, I was in California only that time. Didn't leave California. Um, mostly went to... Bay Area areas only. Sacramento. I think, I think I went to Lake Tahoe at some point. Yeah, Lake Tahoe. Some point. That's wait. No, no, no. Not Lake Tahoe. Reno. Reno. Where's Lake Tahoe? I'm. Holy crap! Where is that? We went to Reno. Uh, we also went to Hoover Dam. But when I was 12 years old. Was it 12? Yeah, 12 years old, we went to a lot more places. 
When I was 12 years old, we went to Anaheim or also not, not necessarily Los, Los Angeles. We didn't go to Los Angeles. We went to Anaheim. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we were also in Nevada, Vegas. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, we went to Reno. We went to Vegas. We went to uh, Hoover Dam. Yes. So, Vegas as well. I forgot. So, that's Nevada as well. When I was 12, we went to Arizona. Yeah, Reno, Nevada. Yes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm fixing my story as I go. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, we went to... When I was 12 years old, we went there as well. Um, and that's when we went to uh, 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 Arizona. Any other states? I don't know. Uh, we we definitely went to go uh, the 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 uh, holy crap, the Great Canyon, Grand Canyon. I'm so, holy crap. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Grand Canyon. We went to the Grand Canyon. Took a took a very small plane. I drank too much coffee that I was shaking in the plane because the plane was such a small plane anyway. Because it was kind of scary already. But holy crap, I took too much coffee. And I was I was scared shitless and not really scared shitless, but you know how it is when you're in a very shaky plane. Yes, we went to Disneyland when I was twelve, definitely. Um, my mom was kind of like not. I mean, she was too respectful of the of our relatives to really uh, take advantage of our opportunities to visit places. Um, we left Disneyland much earlier than I would have wanted, but that's that's my mom. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, what else was there? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, my most of my stays were in San Francisco. I'm a big, I'm a big kind of San Francisco guy, like like you know. And obviously, every time I visit there, uh, it's definitely landing in San Francisco, most likely San Francisco Airport. Uh, Thank you, Kanaman, Sir Alex. Ako nga, di pa nakalabas ng Cebu. <laughs> That's okay, again, Chichoy. You'll, you'll, you'll travel someday. Uh, even though it's, you know, you can you can probably go to Metro Manila. That's that's pretty easy. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's nice nice to travel. Nice to travel. Um, seriously, I, 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 I told I, I told this story a long time before. I wanted to work in... in you know, uh, game, video game writing, video game coverage. Um, so that was like, always wanted to do that. And obviously that's in the San Fran, that's a San Francisco kind of job, you know, game coverage and games and stuff. Um, obviously it's a lot harder to get a job, especially if you're a Filipino native, you live in your, your passport says, you know, Filipino, um, and that's basically eventually, you know, me, me me trying to get that job, that kind of job, a game journalist, landed me in the tech world here in the Philippines, blogging for my own self, not for somebody else in the in in in, in, a, in that capacity, right? So that's that's initially my sort of my my direction to to go to San Francisco a lot. Never got to try, never got to see like new. Um, New York or anything that's I would love to I would love to try it see New York especially now that Rudy Giuliani has cleaned it up and everything that's a lot, long time ago but yeah uh, obviously when I was younger New York was kind of more dirtier grungier and more dangerous but you could have done travel vlogs no that was a long time ago think about think about what was going on back in 20 uh, the last time I was there is 2008 well, think about what kind of stuff um, was available back in 2008 I think the iPhone 3G was launched in 2008 I didn't have <laughs> I didn't have the skills to provide you with travel vlogs uh, nine years ago nine years ago I love tech that's how I found your channel five years ago it's a long yeah thank you <laughs> for sticking around for that long um what was I where was I going with this topic? I forgot. Uh 
yeah, so, you know, these days, uh, I don't have a lot, uh, you know, my long-term plan is not as clear as I thought it is, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I like what I'm doing now. It's very enjoyable, you know, talking with people about tech. Um, and I like that, you know, this is kind of semi-patriotic in, in the way that I'm doing it, because I'm trying to, um, you know, make the Philippines a better place for tech kids, right? Because uh, when I was growing up, it was looking for information about technology and gadgets were, was such a hard thing to do in the Philippines. Um, so now I'm trying to, like, give back or br build a better Philippines in some way. Um, obviously, it's, it's, you know, talking about phones is not necessarily, you know, whatever. But I, I like, think about it. You know, if, if I could, if these people that are growing up and, and I would recommend the phone to them, would be tech savvy in a certain degree more because they're now capable of or they've experienced a better phone eventually somehow because they, you know, saved a little money uh, and got a better phone somehow, right? You know, that extra money that you could spend, I've spent. Uh, I would, uh, if you watched my video about uh, the best budget laptop, which was two weeks ago. I said, you know, the difference between a genius programmer and somebody who's just probably just browsing porn or something is probably access to the right technology and the right, you know, mindset and, and other, you know, seeing and t communicating with other geeks and nerds about these things um, to, to push you towards the more uh, um, uh, productive side of, of your life or your technology stuff because let's say you were not let's say you were given a shitty computer when you were young you're probably not gonna you know learn programming in that computer you'll probably just like play out play with your friends right but maybe you could if you got like a good budget uh computer like i tell like i said about my that good uh, best budget laptop then maybe you'd like when when your teacher talks about hey this is the first programming language you should check it out and then you load it on your computer and it didn't suck so bad that it, you just quit outright, then maybe you could have learned that programming language and started becoming a programmer, right? So that's that's kind of like where I'm going with the, the big time show. Um, I don't know if it's making such an impact, but that's what I hope is it's, it's doing. Other than that, you know, I'm just enjoying myself, uh, making content, surviving in this world right now. Which kind of is very scary because it's getting more crazy politically. Uh, I, I, I see myself moving eventually out of the Philippines. Eventually. You know, my content is not necessarily rooted in the Philippines anymore. I do a lot of international phones. <coughs> so I could probably, like, just make videos in New Zealand. Probably. Maybe. <clears throat> uh, Kuya, sinakto mo yun sa laptop na may nag-comment sa akin ng tanong. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Alex, what happened to your old BTS co-hosts? Where are they now? Uh, they're still... I communicate th with them a lot uh, on Facebook. So they're still around. They also have their own blogs and stuff to do, to, to, to manage. And that's fine with me. Um, it, <laughs> it's very clear early on, and and this is this is not something I did not foresee uh, back then because I knew this was not you know the, uh, a lot of them are got, are busy with work or whatever. Some of them are full time bloggers, which is you know they could they could spare their hours if they wanted to. Some of them still show up on the show, of course. That's fine. But basically, all of them could not, uh, and I under, I completely understand. I'm not hating them or anything for this. All of them could not commit to the Saturday, two hours, three hours, or whatnot of their life. And if I were them, I probably would not commit my uh, Saturday either. Um, you know, big time show is not. 
the show you do to become popular in this blogging tech world here in the Philippines. It's not. Um, the brands don't even recognize this show because of how I run it. And, you know, some people just say, some, some brands try to give it the benefit, like, you know, give it a cursory glance to say, like, okay, cool, you have a show. You know, that's, that's, that's the most thing. You know, I can't even convince most brands to guess on the show. Partly because it's a Saturday evening, but also because they think it's such a small-time show, and that's why it's called the big-time show, to counteract the fact that it is a small-time show. Um, <clears throat> what is this? It's such a small time show that I. But honestly, that doesn't bother me, at all. I would do this show, even if nobody gives a shit, right? Kind of no. Well, actually, if if viewers didn't give a shit, then I'd I'd stop. But what matters to me are you guys. Are you guys? I don't care about the brands, right? This is for my recreation. My, this is my personal time to talk about tech with you guys. That's all there. That's all BTS is for me. I don't care about the brands. This is this is just me as a kid. Think of think of me as a kid, not having anything, anybody to talk to. About the new computer, or about the new phone. Where can I find this phone? Where can I buy a cheap phone? Now I can. Now I have this show where I can just say everything I want, anything I want about gadgets, and not be like ostracized from the community. Be like, that guy is so fucking nerdy. <laughs> we don't understand what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> right? Think about it. When I was young, like people. There was in when I was in high school. I loved anime, and I think everybody loves anime for some, uh, for at least a little bit, right? Um, when I was in high school, uh, this is Don Bosco. People called anime just a girly Sailor Moon, and I and people were like, "Ah, oh, Sailor." Wow, Sailor Moon, and then they they mock me for like watching Sailor Moon. Dude, Sailor Moon is hot. All the Sailor Moon girls are hot too, so I'm not really offended. But the fact that people make fun of me for watching anime, and then years later they'd be the dudes who are like, "Oh my God, Naruto!" Wow, like I was just ahead of my time, right? I just loved anime before they did, but I was being ostracized from the community. Uh, for being a nerdy guy who watched uh, the Sailor Moon, which I was, it wasn't Sailor Moon. It was Ranma One Half, right? Ranma One Half is not Sailor Moon. Ranma One Half, there was boobs and in, there's boobs involved. There's hot girls, whatever. Anyway, my point here is, people thought Ranma One Half or other anime were Sailor, Moon. like they would mock you. And s s same thing for 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 com for uh, for gadget stuff and stuff like that. Like, I couldn't talk to my classmates about you know, hey, you know, I think the Sony Ericsson is a really good phone. Uh, it's got like eight megapixels and then it's got Wi-Fi. My God, dude, may Wi-Fi in bagong f the new phone has Wi-Fi. Be I mean, like, the fuck are you talking about? Right? That's what that's my classmate. That would be my classmate. So. That's the, uh, that's the, like, this is the, the, think about the children that are growing up today and not having that barrier of, you know, it, let's say, let's say you are in such a, such a community where you're frown, being frowned upon, or you don't have anybody to talk to about these new gadgets and technology. And then, and you found the big time show and you're like, oh my God, I can finally talk about this shit, right? That's what I'm aiming for here. And also, that's what that's what I'm doing right now for me. Because, you know, most of my friends... In, okay, a lot of my friends are actually not that techy. Right? And I'm still friends with them because they're very nice and they're, you know, very supportive and, and they've, they've, they've gone with... They've come, 
they've come all the way with me to learn about how my how fucking awkward I am and all that and only care about fucking gaming and all that shit. Um and and and, and you think about just going, let's say go to a coffee shop and we just start talking about, you know, man, did you see Doom in 4K? Holy crap, Doom in 4K is so amazing. People were just like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? <laughs> I can say Doom in 4K is amazing here in the, the big time show. And people are like, yeah, thank you for saying, saying so, right? Thank you for sharing the experience with Doom in 4K. That, that, I can open up on the big time show. That's basically, I can open up on the big time show and that's me. I love it that way. Uh, uh, so <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing here? I'm turned into an Ask Alex show. Is is BTS not always an Ask Alex show anyway? <laughs> sir Raf wala na talaga since wala na rin Black Brain. No, sir, sir Raf is... Um, uh, he changed uh, careers. He's no longer in the tech uh, space necessarily. He does... Uh, man no, not, not managing. He does sort of uh, publicity for a, a surf hotel. A surf hostel in La Union, where uh, he in always in is inviting me to go there. I haven't gone yet. He said he'll he'll uh, put me up a room, which is very nice of him. Very nice of him. Uh, I'll take him up on that offer eventually, but not re not right now. I'm just a little bit busy right now, and uh, I I just know 100% if I go there, he's gonna ask me to try surfing, and I'm not ready for that yet. I wanna be able to. I wanna be back in my in a good physical form first. Before I try surfing, because um, I don't think I can physically do it right now. I'm a good. I used to be a good swimmer. I don't think I can do that right now. I haven't swam long periods for a while, so I want to get back into that. <clears throat> the way you vlog is more on international way, which I really like. Thank you, Genji Choi. Um, I never really. I wanted the global audience immediately, and. Thankfully, I can, I can speak the language. So you have a daytime job? No, no, I don't. Uh, I do mostly this tech stuff, and then I sometimes work as a web programmer. Sometimes that used to be my main job as a programmer. Not anymore. I just take side jobs these days. Uh, let's see, Tote Puff days. Uh. Hope to see more gaming stuffs as well, like yung nag stream kind of Switch games. Genji Choi, uh, if you're not aware yet, uh, I have a my, on Facebook. I have started my own. Yeah, uh, I call it I am Kokak. It's not. I'm not dedicating a lot of resources into this uh, uh, venue yet or uh, uh, split off yet. But I didn't want to spam my main tech channel with a lot of you know boring crappy game streams and gaming content that not a lot of people are interested in like okay here's my new um gaming chair not not really not really i haven't bought a gaming chair but you know stuff like uh <laughs> here's my here's my i am kohak uh page um you know what's uh, like talking like for example here here's a photo of my game i just bought player Unknown's battleground so do you want me to put that in my main channel? Not really. Um, but this is gaming related. So if you want gaming related stuff, you should... Um, I also have a YouTube channel. I am Kohak. Obviously, that's where I put my stuff. Uh, type I am Kohak. Yo. And it should show up. There it is. 56 videos. Now, keep in mind, this is not like super high quality content. This is, this is just me shooting the shit while playing games. Okay, that's literally it. Shooting the shit. While playing games and <laughs> this is a funny one obviously i posted this already on my facebook watch page this. amazing stealth kill right okay. so there, watch this yeah so this is me just shooting the shit if you want more gaming content i put more gaming content in there sometimes i also do it in in this in this main channel but not all of it <clears throat> um nerd is not necessarily bad anymore yeah they're definitely right and that's a good thing uh, let's see. Even games, they, even gamers, they mock Nintendo users. 
as it is too childish, unlike Xbox and PS, which is manly though. It's it's to each his own, honestly, to be honest. Ho however, me personally, you know, I would just want more, uh, not not really, you know, kiddie themes. I would like more, not serious stuff, but yeah, you get what I mean. I want more, because I, I, what I don't like about childish games is typically the story is very predictable obviously the girl and the guy are gonna get together it's gonna be a good you know i want some 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 uh tragedy and his name is John hey it's genji Choi. just subscribe <laughs> um what does kohak pertain to okay so kohak is the uh i think the term is called onomatopoeia of a frog uh, doing a ribbit. So instead of, in the United States, it's a ribbit, ribbit, right? In the Philippines, in Filipino, in Tagalog, it's korak, korak, korak. So ribbit, korak, ribbit, korak. Um, so korak is basically a frog, or what the frog sounds like in the in Tagalog. And I, I thought that was just kind of funny, you know? I There was a, was a long explanation of what Frogs uh, or, or Kohak is about. Um, it's actually about you know a joke, kind of a joke phone, a joke some, something that's not real. Uh, that's the the the, the ba background behind it. When I was somebody was like, ah, I want the phone that is X and Y and has a big ass battery, super amazing specs for like I don't know ten dollars, and I'm like, what the fuck, you guys, you're dreaming. You're dreaming right now and you know you know here's what you do you like go to the mirror at midnight say say i love something something and then a frog will show up and they'll say kohak and that that's where that's where it came from but obviously the, the definition of it is changed over time and now i just use it for as an endear terms of endearment like also sometimes you know kind of like killing you could you could very well uh, could very well uh, uh, what do you call this? It's very close to the Twitch's popular Kappa uh, emote or uh, saying. Kappa is obviously you know ironically kidding. Hey, you know I hate your face, Kappa. That means he's kidding, right? So I could say, hey, I hate your face. That means I'm kidding. Um, and I find it kind of, you know, endearing. Kohak, you know, kind of a cool thing to say. And also very, very, you know, unique to, to me and to the big time show and everybody's in here. To <laughs> nobody else uses Kohak. And I think it's super cute, right? Like, uh, you think of really nice. Uh, things when you know, it, it, no, it's not such an offensive word when you say kohak, so it's funny. It means you're like tongue in cheek and whatnot. You're like, hey, what's up, kohak? Ah, something like that. So I like where it's going, and it's very nice branding because it's very easy to understand and remember. Kohak, right? Even internationally, you can say, hey, kohak, right? right? I know who that is. That's the guy from the Philippines who plays those games, right? Kohak. He's also very, very funny and does tongue in cheek stuff and shouts a lot. He says kokak a lot too. You know, it's very, very nice branding. Hey, what's up, Eric uh, Fontenot? We're just ending. We're just winding down um, our YouTube tech show. Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> we're getting a lot into none of the none of the topics. We've, we've already finished uh, most of the topics. But yeah, um, I think that's a very good. <laughs> yeah, I see hot. Yeah, you know. You're now in the joke, but I think you you kind of got it in your head via the context of what I'm always saying when I say koha, that you know I'm sure you understood it already, and it's in the context, but you just wanted to make sure what it really means. Now you know the background behind it, but I'm sure you just in instinctively, because of how it sounds and because of how we use it, you know how it mean what it means. And that being said, I think we should you know call it a day. Um, holy crap, we stretched that to a three-hour show. 
Did you know we actually ended the sh the uh, the topics around two hours? Now we're hitting three hours. Holy crap! I did not. I I, I could not believe I just started. I, I just went rambling for an hour there. <laughs> okay, my uh, nose is getting clogged because I have an electric fan right in my face, and I think that's a instinctive reaction by your face to just. It was like, oh my god, it's cold. My face is saying, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. And uh, now it's being like, let's put some... Let's clog his nose for some reason. Alright, so, uh, that's it for the show. I'm Thank you for a lot for sticking out this hour. A lot of people usually just dis you know, um, sleep around, around the 12 midnight time. Hey, what's up, Charlotte Live? Welcome back, but sorry if we're about to end the show now. Um, so yeah, thank you for sticking around. Um, it's fun to have these kinds of, uh, you know, end stuff and then talk about our lives and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, hawk. <laughs> but yeah, I think we should end the show. I don't want to stretch it out too much longer. We'll have another, you know, opportunity to shoot the shit, uh, and talk about our lives and more gadgets and stuff next week. We do this every week. <laughs> so... We have more opportunity, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a donut when I go down. I ordered a, a dozen donuts earlier today. I wasn't able to eat all of them. Obviously, that's too much. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Icy hot always, as always. You've been here for a long, long time. Norms, uh, all of the new guys, Charlotte, uh, Eric Fontenot, and obviously Norms, Genji Choi. What's up in Cebu? Hopefully. Uh, you're having a good day there. Uh, and all, obviously all of the regulars, uh, which are probably asleep. Some of them are asleep now. Aaron Ocampo, always a regular, and all, everybody here. Jun Ching, always a viewer of my YouTube uh, gaming live streams. Mulong, uh, always uh, dropping by. And I can't scroll that far off my, ch <laughs> my YouTube chat. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. That's been the Big Time Show 4. Uh, January, May 27, 2017. And uh, what's this? Charlotte Live. Hi, I visited your child to watch the E Blue, e -blue Mouse Pad? Monday Computex. Yes. So there will be a lot of stuff to be announced this coming week due to Computex. Uh, we'll try to do as much coverage as we can. Stay tuned for that. But for now, that's it for me. That's it for the Big Time Show. I'm Alex from TechnoClass.com. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. So uh, Charlotte is asking, what is this? This is our weekly tech gadget discussion. Unfortunately, we're already at the three hour mark. We already talked about our, you know, our stuff for this week. Uh, but maybe we'll see you next week if you're interested in seeing this kind of stuff. Anyway, I'll see you again. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Sir Alex, try to put freshly cut onions on your side to help you from clog nose. Thank you for that uh, advice. I'll try that out. Maybe not immediately, but I'll keep it in mind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My, my, yeah. RGB mousepad, yes. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.